This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. Red Hot Comic Book Movie News. Shooting up your butthole. The Weekly Planet. The Weekly Planet. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Weekly Planet, where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. My name is James, also known as Mr. Sunday, but with me, as always, is my co-host, Mr. Nicholas P. Mason, how are you? Me, I'm doing very well. That's that was great. a lot. That was a lot of enthusiasm. You really, you really barreled through that intro. <sighs> Mate, and, you know and may, I, may I exclusively <laughs> reveal that this 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 episode is a real throwback <laughs> to back in the day because you are extremely hungover, <laughs> blistery hungover. Yes, I went away on mm. our annual uh, boys golf trip where I don't play golf and I show up late to eat food and drink, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and I'm just not feeling myself. <laughs> Because of all the alcohol that I consume. Would you say you've pulled up better than the last time you did this? Probably. I mean, I don't know. I think I'm probably like, because I'm generally probably healthier. Sure. I think my body's like, we'll give you this one, but do not do this okay. again. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give you this one, but if you attempt it next year, you will immediately die. <laughs> but actually, I feel, I'm all right. I've had some bad at all. I'm having some caffeinated beverages, mm. and I'm excited to talk about all things. Uh, well, the number. Would you want me to go through the list of things we will discuss this yes, week please. before the main topic? Mm. Because it's uh, it's Batman Eve, isn't it? It's it the is, Batman yeah. Eve. Yeah. So we got a bit of news in relation to that, including spinoffs. More news. Do you have Do you have Robert Pattinson big suit news? <laughs> no, don't big don't tweed that. suit news. Me... Don't worry, I'll cover that. Oh, okay. I'll cover that. I'll, I'll put cover it that in. Base. Well, you've got two bits of news, so I'll put that in, uh-huh. and I'll put in the other thing that you mentioned. Terrific. Tom Holland, uh, more information on his, what he wanted to do with James Bond. Joe Russo, one of the directors of the um, the, the, the Avengers movies, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, talked about the multiverse and the dangers of dabbling in it. Oh, uh, Charlie Cox talks about his role in Daredevil, uh, Daredevil in uh, Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. We mentioned weeks ago that we're just going to spoil. Everybody knows at this point, I think right? so, yeah. There's everything. It's everywhere. <laughs> um, there's also what's going on with Marvel Netflix and uh, Oscar and Oscar update. I know you love the Oscars, Mason. I do. And then we are going to I be... love it when they just tear away bits of the Oscar telecast. That's, that's part of it, yeah. yeah. Well, they, they're taking away a lot of that. But also um, we're going to be, because it is Batman's Eve, the Batman's mm, Eve, yeah. uh, we're going to be ranking every Batman and every Batman movie. That's right. Uh, in very quick succession. We're probably going to spend <laughs> about 10 seconds on each, I reckon. Just going to blitz through them, yeah. And we do not want any feedback. The or, the, or it'll, it, it, you know... It's pr- there's pretty good odds that the order we rank them in will be the order in which they came out chronologically. <laughs> 66 <laughs> Batman, worst Batman. Yeah, we didn't like it, actually. I didn't like Batman better than that it's Batman. Better, but Batman, Batman Returns, Returns is better Batman. That card one was a good one in that yeah. one. Third yeah. Batman, whatever third Batman was called, better, third, better, better Batman. We can actually put this up top of that, and then we can. Just oh, that's go incredible! From there. <laughs> okay, cool. Let me just go. We don't have to talk about them again. Yeah, that's great. So, uh, if you do want to jump around, there are of course time codes. I just a quick reminder: I was on Fofop last week. I mentioned it. I only mentioned it again because it wasn't out when the show came out. There you go, Charlie Claus and I. We talked was about. Was he mad? He, he was very mad. Mm. No, uh, we talked about uh, Hey Hate Saturday. Of course we, we talked did. about bodybuilding. Okay, and, and people who. Take a bunch of steroids and die. We talked about dad stuff. You know, the trifecta. The, the, the three, the three cultural touchstones yes, that you three have, the you two have in common. Yes, the triforce. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about it. It is a big Batman uh, time of week, and mm. I, I just want to point out also uh, more of a brag than anything. I have seen it. I saw it on Friday. I I'm not allowed to say anything. Shout out to Oscar who I, uh, who was at the screening. Who um, the Grouch. No, no, Mason. Huh. That's a pretty hack joke. What about a different Oscar? You could have said the Oscar Meyer Wienermobile. <laughs> there we go. Was sitting next to you. <laughs> yes, there we go. Did it block your view at all? No, it's it was a very fine. large vehicle. Yeah, yeah, I could see through the windscreen. Huh. Okay. <laughs> it was all right. Yeah, but uh, no, it was very the nice. The entire but... Oscars telecast <laughs> yes. was sitting next was to you, was sitting in front of me. Wow, yes. with a big hat on, no less. <laughs> but uh, it was great to meet him and just talk about the Batman after. Mm. Which, um, so even though if you've like le- legally, if you've signed a, if if you've seen it in some <laughs> places, you haven't signed anything. There's been a bunch of like very positive reviews like coming out, but not if you've signed an embargo, which is going up on. Ah, uh, so Monday. if you if you manage to see the Batman, yeah, but you somehow uh, sort of uncovered a loophole, which means you can talk about it, yeah, you you can say it's good or whatever. It was wild because there was like they're like this is a very exclusive. Thing. Not many people can go. You you get one ticket, and I'm like, well, I'm taking that ticket. Nick Mason can go to hell. I said in a return email, and they're like, we don't. What are you 
Okay. Wow. <laughs> anyway, I got there. And then I'm texting James. Hey, James, just let you know I'm trapped in hell currently. I can't I, I can't make any movies this week, so I have fun at the movies, I guess. Yeah, but they just, there was no security. They just let people in. They didn't check anybody's name. And did I was like, I, should, any, I nearly messaged you to be like. Did you have to put the, the, like, the phone in the little pouch No. Thing? Whoa. And there was like eight people there in this oh. enormous cinema. I'm like, this is wild. What is this? Anyway, and the remaining the remaining seven people besides you were part of like a gang that was filming it all. There was a boom mic guy and a camera guy, director guy, yeah, craft services guy. That's right. Mm. Anyways, look, I'm um I'm really looking forward to talking about it uh, for reasons that I obviously cannot go into. But just to emphasize, I have seen it and right. it suck shit, Mason. Wow, you go to hell, <laughs> basically. Hey, I've seen heaps of worse movies before you. Oh yeah, name one. Um. You don't have to name one. No, I can't think of any. Yeah, can't <laughs> okay, think of good. any. Yeah. Anyway, in, and speaking of Matt Reeves, who of course directed that movie, said yes at the moment. You're not going to believe this, but there are there are talking about part two. They are Whoa. making that happen. Whoa! And look, it is. And a, people are immediately like, well, "Where's Superman? Where's Superman <laughs> in this universe? What's Superman going to do?" Well, apparently, where's Superman? Not something. They what about all the other do? heroes? Green Lantern? Where's Green Lantern? Where's Wonder Woman? What are they doing in there? I, oh, I, I can't. I guess I can't talk about it that much. But I have seen it. Yeah, we know. we are aware. <laughs> but uh. Matt Reeves has talked about how they don't they're not really interested in doing that at this yep. point in time. But you you could, like if you really wanted Ooh. to. Is there a scene where uh, Jim Gordon picks up the phone and he's like, Should I Batman, should I call the entire Justice League that exists in this universe? <laughs> and Batman's like, No, no, I'll handle this myself. Yeah, I think I'm going to take a year to solve this, actually. <laughs> if you don't mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, yeah. it's just it's just the citizens of Gotham. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> That's it. But that that being said, and I've said this I said this of the Nolan verse as well, give us a give us a Superman that isn't very good. Oh, yeah, and by yeah. not good, I mean like like the 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 forties Superman, the one who can jump, they can leap tall buildings. Yeah. Give give us that guy, absolutely. Not as good as regular Superman, but interesting, I think. Yeah, that's what everyone says when he turns up. Why didn't we get? Why we get this guy? Why can't we have regular Superman? Look, regular Superman's just up in the sky there, <laughs> flying. That's his whole thing. He's shaking his head at us. Mm. I don't know what that means. I don't like this. <laughs> anyway, uh, Colin Farrell has also talked about the Penguin spinoff, which is apparently happening. Uh, it is going to be R-rated as opposed to the movie, which Ooh, is PG-13. Does that mean he can smoke a cigarillo? That's because right. Because apparently not allowed to. he was not allowed to smoke any kind of cigar or cigarette or cigarillo. Yeah, so it is, it, though it's, it's PG-13, but apparently it's not in England, I believe. It's okay. still R-rated. And it's pretty like... It's not like gory, but it's you know it's a it's a it's a spooky time a lot of mm. it you know so I, I understand why it got that rating. Interesting to see whether that you know affects the box office. But apparently though that way they can explore more violence and darkness in the character of the penguin. Okay, yeah. So they get more punching. That makeup on him is wild. They get well. more punching, but they get no no cigarettes. That's right, no okay. cigarettes. You can um, you can smoke a cigar, can't you? And what's wrong with smoking a cigar? Not like in a mood, like John. Sure. I mean, what's that? What's the significant? Like kids aren't. Look at this horrible looking man smoking a cigar. Yeah, he's cool. All yeah, of a I sudden, like this, this guy. Actually. Yeah. So there you go. Maybe they should have given him chewing tobacco. Maybe they should have. Now I've just written a note here. <laughs> <laughs> Grosser. Mm-hmm. I've written a note here. Um, it just says big tweed. Is this something you wanted to? to just cover? Robert Pattinson and Zoe Kravitz went to a movie. Went to the Batman premiere. Having fun, are they? And and Zoe Kravitz was wearing a you know a, a classic black dress. And and Robert Pattinson was wearing a very large, sort of double-breasted tweed suit. Big, wide, big and wide. Not 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 hugely wide, but very long. Oh, okay. Like like nearly zoot suit proportions. Remember mm. zoot suits? Oh, I remember. I remember. Yeah. I remember, remember, the, remember the zoot suit, right? Yes. Remember I, the cherry popping daddies? I, I remember. Do you remember the scar. squirrel yes. nutter zippers? Yes, I do. <laughs> Of course, and real you big know. fish, etc. Yeah, all st- of yeah. I yes, mean, yes, that's yes. I mean that's I know, scar pretty, and not I, swing, but yes, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't think of another one. I'm too hungover. over. That's okay. You don't have to. <laughs> Good. Uh, anyway, so he wore a big suit. But the other note here I've got is that you told me this just You, you could have said Royal Crown Review. I didn't want to say that. Yeah, no, I didn't think so. Um, is that uh, Spielberg is making bullet? Not well, making bullets. Th- apparently, according to Deadline, Steven yeah. Spielberg is, a, is interested in making another movie, a new movie. Yeah. Around the character of Frank Bullets, who famously McQueen played yes. in the late sixties, and people are like, but people again, as with as with every auteur uh, uh, movie maker, you know, from from decades past, who've had who've decided to do anything or say anything, the entire internet got very upset about it. I don't. I mean, I, again, this is the first time hearing of it. Yes, uh, and and is it true? I don't know. Well, deadline said it. Yeah, but I don't. They're believe more. You. I don't believe you. Okay. <laughs> I emailed you the thing. I didn't open it. Well, oh my no, god. No, I, I do believe you. But um, but the idea of like 
continuing the story of this guy. Because yeah. isn't there a bunch of novels about this guy? No, there's just the one. Is there really? It's, okay, it's Mute Witness yeah. by uh, by Robert L. Pike, real name Robert L. Fish. Oh, that's I think what we've talked about. We, I think maybe we discussed it on a bonus episode. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, there's there's uh, as far as I know, it's just the one. Yeah. Uh, so there's no there's nothing else to adapt. So it'd have to be an original story. Yeah. And the, well, the thing about it is because I think it's it's one of those things like it's kind of wrapped up in myth. Yeah. Because it's it's Steve McQueen. Yeah. He, here's your issues with it. It's Steve McQueen. Yep. Like whose nickname was the King of Cool. That's true. So you've got to get an actor who is cool. Who's cooler than Steve McQueen? I don't know. Let's spitball some names. Statham. No. I feel like if it was 2004, they would have put Statham. They there. might have. Yeah, because he's he can scowl behind the wheel of a yeah, big car. He did. But I think job, there's like man. I think. And maybe it's just the, the the decades that have passed. But I look at Steve McQueen and go, yeah, he seems like a cool guy. Ryan Gosling. I was thinking Ryan Gosling. Yeah. That's an option. But I, it's sort of there. There's a and difference. That's drive. That's me. Going. Yeah, yeah. Drive's there's good. difference between someone actually being cool and being like Hollywood's decided they're cool. Yeah. And then all of a sudden people You're are like giving the Machine Gun Kelly effect. Yeah, yeah. Of like you were interested in this guy who looks like the underside yeah, yeah. of a skateboard. And yeah, then he I gets am. then they get all sorts of brand deals and free stuff and all this sort of stuff. Yeah. And then it's like, well, that's not cool. Yeah. What about? I think because uh, yeah, Adam Driver. I do like that. Yeah, he's great. He, he was my he was my two. And thoughts. he doesn't look like him. I think which is a yeah. strength. He was my two thoughts. And he has to keep his hair long. Yeah, obviously, it's fine. Yeah. Obviously, I was thinking Adam Driver. Yep. Because we don't. I was thinking of Mimi Driver. Oh, also Steve McQueen was a Marine, and Adam Driver was a Marine. Oh, that's true. So, actually, uh, was Mimi Driver a Marine? The, fiction, the fictional woman Mimi Driver. He What's her name? Mimi Driver? <laughs> Thank you. I always do that. I did that as suggestion. Uh, like or that. John David Washington. Is he oh, a... uh, from Tenet. Yeah. Yeah. He's cool, I right? like that a lot, actually. And he was in that Netflix show, the movie that was, was like sort of Man on the Run. Bullet. No, not Bullet. Bullet Netflix's Bullet. We Netflix's remade bullet. it for Netflix. <laughs> remade for TV. That's good, actually. And I they like put that. it in a 4-3 yeah. format. Just bad. That's cool. But that's the thing, what about I'm, Pattinson then? If we're talking Tenet, uh, he's like, yeah. I mean, he's weird. <laughs> he's he's really weird. He's big suit weird. Yeah. And also, I think another thing about Bullet, and I just like, I just, I guess, I, I just like talking about Bullet, and I, I think, I think it's partly because the first time I saw it, I'm like, this isn't anything, and yeah. then I saw it on a really big screen, and I'm like, no, this is good. Yeah, actually, because the car chase also is like a real. Yeah, it's not a real car chase, but it's like Steve McQueen did a lot of the driving in yeah. it, and the the guy. It's the, pretty unique for the time. Yeah, like yeah, the way it's paced you, and the speed exactly, of it, yeah. and yeah, and it's like so. If it doesn't have these, if it doesn't have like a cool, like a really cool guy, yeah, in the in the lead role, and it doesn't have an interesting, or, or if it does have a car chase, people are like, well, it's just the last movie, isn't it? Yeah, was this guy a car chase guy? Was the bloody. I also think that like Spielberg is like I, no, I haven't seen West Side Story, but apparently it's like a really incredible like update. Yeah, right. Of the original. Yeah, and maybe this is like maybe he's like the perfect guy, and he's of that era yeah. as well to make this. Well, I saw like, people go, "Oh, I, Spielberg, he can't direct action," and it's like he directed what are you, he, he directed what are you talking Indi- about? he directed Indiana Jones movies. <laughs> he directed Jaws. Like, what do you? Of course, do? he can. Yeah. Anyway, he directed Ready Player One. That oh had a big God. car chase in it. Sure a did. car. Chased a King Kong or something mm. through a through a digital maze. <laughs> yeah, but I would be very curious: who is man or woman? Mm-hmm. Who's cool? Who's a cool person? You know who's cool? Olivia Wilde's cool. Is she cool? Yeah, she's cool, Mason. She, she could be. You Fra- don't think she's she could cool? be Frank Bullet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who else yeah. is cool? I don't know, but I think there's so many people where you go, "That is that person cool?" Or are we just being told they're cool? Yeah, you know, there's a difference. You're absolutely yeah. right. I can Adam Driver could do it. He is cool. Mm. I like him. And I can hit like me. I wonder if that. Yeah, and that's wonder, cool. That is cool. Is that because we don't <laughs> well, know? It's cool it, for me. Is it because we don't know anything about him? I think that's probably a big factor. Yeah. And he seems nice. And I think being nice is cool. You yeah. know what I mean? Because you know Paul Rudd's nice, and we don't know anything about him. Mm. But I wouldn't say. And he's cool. He's, he's sort cool, of but it's cool, a different kind of cool. But he's not like. Yeah. He's not like action Mysterious movie cool. cool. But Adam Driver is kind of cool. Yeah, I like how cool he is. Yeah. What about one of the Scars guards? <laughs> Any of them. Oh, be maybe one of the Scars guards. Yeah. I thought you were going to say one of the Sklar brothers. Maybe. Comedy duo, the Sklar brothers. Which one, though? Randy Sklar. All right, then. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay, we should move on, though. Okay, cool. Because uh, Let us know. if you Email in if you or tweet at us, more likely. Yep. Who's, who's actually cool? Who's cool? Hashtag actually cool. Yeah, you don't need any explanation. Yeah. Maybe post a picture. Yeah, yeah. And it's not Tom Holland. You know who would be cool? <laughs> Back off if you think it's Tom Holland. It's not. I mean, he's, he's nice. He's cool. He seems he's like a nice, nice yeah. And cool. yeah, yeah. 
I reckon maybe Daniel Craig if he wasn't famous. Some people said Daniel Craig yeah. if he wasn't, but he's too. I reckon he's yeah, too yeah. famous now. Yeah. If he like if you got him during Layer Cake, he'd be perfect. Yeah, for sure. But he's just James Bond. Yeah, like you know, which sounds like an insult, and it is. Fuck him. He's rich. I don't <laughs> <Right>. care. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, no, he seems very nice and cool. Also, anyway, Tom Holland opened up to uh, Seth Meyers about his pitch for Little James Bond Boy. Oh, over this, and he said, James Bond Junior. Yeah. So I pitched this idea for the movie. I'm going to do the voice this week if you don't yeah, mind. Yeah, no, please do. So I pitched this idea for <laughs> a movie. I'll give you the vocorder. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Which is kind of a stupid idea. Or essentially, you wouldn't tell the audience that it was a James Bond movie until the end. But from a marketing point of view, that's a nightmare. <laughs> like they don't make any sense. Like, Did he become Italian for a second yeah, there? that's right. Like that doesn't make any sense. I like the idea of doing a spy movie and then at the end revealing it's a James Bond movie. But, yes, that is a mistake to market it that way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think if people were watching a Tom Holland spy thriller and then at the end he went, I'm James Bond, (laughs) people would be very upset. Sure, yeah. But I also enjoy that. I think that would be pretty – what if at the end of Uncharted he just went, I'm actually James Bond? (laughs) What we did is we purchased – he's explaining this to the audience. What we did is we purchased the rights to Uncharted. (laughs) Okay. <laughs> what we did is we bought the rights Listen to Uncharted and then we just threw away everything and said, but well, I'll, I'll be James Bond at the end. <laughs> That'd be funny. Just completely just completely burn one franchise yeah. <laughs> for, the, for the sake of this stupid reveal. And you might be thinking, were there any hints along the way that I was James Bond? No, there no, was none. none. <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't a single thing. <laughs> Anyway, that would be so funny. Uh, anyway. Uh, if we, James, if we had the keys to some movie studios, we wouldn't have them for very long. We would be fired. Very We'd get one out, though. We'd make we'd something get one insane. Out, yeah. Yeah. You know? uh, see, when you say, like you say it would be a mistake to reveal it would be a James Bond at the end. I for think money it, it would be. I think it would be for Tom, if, if it was Tom Holland. And yeah. I think... But I, I don't know. I wonder if word of mouth would spread. Like I wonder if the, we live yeah. in – it's such a risk-averse industry that maybe people will be like, oh, this might is – right. excuse, excuse me, what happens at the end of it? Especially if it's good. Yeah, people you know? are like, you know, this movie's so good, you never bloody believe what happens at the end of it. The only example I can think of that is that Split – it might be split. It might be another one. Yeah. Is an unbreakable sequel. Yeah, I'm trying to think of a recent example because on the movie a big Psycho. Franch- yeah, the movie Psycho. Yes. Well, you think it's about? Um, oh, okay. Yeah. No, ladies, I mean, as in, then... like, it's actually a part of a franchise. Oh, I see. Right. Like, Split was. Oh, okay. Sure, sure, in sure. In the yeah. Night Shyamalan mm. universe. Well, Psycho is obviously part of the Psycho franchise. That's true. Original Psycho, and then uh, Vince Vaughn Psycho. Yes. <laughs> and Hesh Psycho. And Hesh Psycho. Mm. So there you go. Why they Which are just, they're not, that it's not a remake. No. It's two identical incidences with identically <laughs> named people. Really? That happen up di- in, in different decades, That's yeah. very bizarre. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, good work, Tom Holland. Mm. I like your thinkings. Anyway, Joe Russo. Uh, he oh, one of the Russo I, brothers. That's right. He spoke to IGN about the multiverse. Joe Russo, one of the Russo brothers. That's right. Wow. Uh, he said, the corporate agenda is... Uh, do you like chocolate ice cream? Well, here's chocolate ice cream with sprinkles. Here's chocolate ice cream with fudge. It's their job to turn uh, the money printer on. It's a creative job to say, creative's job to say, well, shit, I don't know if I want to watch that. So he said, so yeah, too much of oh, one. This is, this is very dangerously close to a Martin Scorsese style mm, uh, uh, analogy, is isn't on it? His own. Oh, what, 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 other, what, what else could it be like, in Mr. Joe Russo of the Russo <laughs> Brothers? Like a carnival ride? Joe Russo of the Russo Brothers? Mm. So, Watch your words carefully, Russo. This is interesting. I think it is. The Russet Potato Brothers. <laughs> so, yeah, too much of one thing uh, is a bad thing, but I think there's enough smart creators and innovators in the space where you can expect to be surprised. Just don't expect corporations to surprise you. Ooh. That's interesting. And he said it's like, a similar thing for like Star Wars and yeah, it yeah. applies. But I think that is true because there is like the thinking a lot of the time and you see it with franchises where – People are going to love this. We're going to throw everything in it. And it's just like, this is actually bad. You've made a bad thing. Mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's clearly like this is a corporate decision too. Do you think he is referring to specifically? Because I guess, yes. I guess Mor- Morbius. Morbius, but also the multiverse of madness. And I, so, uh, maybe. Like, I mean, yeah. they have sort of, the, are the Russo brothers out of Marvel just generally? At the moment, but I think they're probably doing something Because like they're Secret doing Wars. the Grey Man, right? Yeah, but I think they're going to do Secret Wars. Yeah, I don't right, know. Okay. That's the, they've talked about maybe yeah, doing right, right. whatever. Because I think like they've reached the point, I, I guess, where they have enough Hollywood juice where they could, say, be like, 
Yeah. I think Marvel's going in a bad way or whatever. Or what they could do is yeah. make three movies that nobody sees and then you know, we'll just do another yeah, Marvel yeah. one. Or they could be like, or what they could do is they could be like, the thing about the thing about Marvel is we think they're getting a bit too formulaic. So we we put our foot down and we said, we're not going to do any more Marvel movies until they let us you know, really elevate the form and then they, we get into the secret wars and it's just like, look how many guest stars there are. <laughs> look how many Easter eggs and extra characters there are. We tricked you. We tricked you, you idiots. That's what we do. We're the sneaky Russo brothers. <laughs> wow, they're sneaky now. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Well, they were always sneaky. That's but true. We didn't know. We didn't You're know. Right. You're absolutely right. Mm. Uh, Charlie Cox, actually, he also spoke to Radio Times about his uh, role in Spider-Man and the reveal, and I just thought this was quite funny, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to include it, Mason. Ooh. He said, it's funny. I got so many text messages and so many calls about the moment in the cinema. My nephew sent me a recording of everybody cheering, so I snuck into a movie theatre near, near on I live and totally and literally stood in the corridor and sadly my experience was dead <laughs> fucking quiet. I was so disappointed. My wife was with me and she was recording me because uh, it would be fun to have that moment of everyone cheering and then tumbleweed. I think that's very funny. <laughs> yeah, that is very, that is very funny. Because you're really probably only going to get that like the first couple of days. And oh, yeah, people for sure. like, we don't know who this is. Or, uh, yeah, or, yeah oh, exactly, <laughs> the big fans or people will... People will tell their friends, yeah. and and they'll go. They'll they won't be joyously surprised in the cinema. They'll go, oh yeah, that's the thing they told us about. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah, I I like was I was like ninety nine percent sure he was going to be in it, and I yes. was still you know I was very excited to see him. Mason wasn't mm. I? I couldn't stop clapping and crying. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I had I had to be escorted out. So there you go. That's fun. Also, that uh, who was it? His nephew said. Nephew, yeah. I reckon maybe his nephew like got a bunch of people in a room. Oh, put you the think put so? the put no, the people went mental where we when we were. <laughs> yeah, no, that's true. Yeah, but uh, but uh, fun prank though. Fun prank. Just just uh, you know get, get get some friends in a room and record some whooping and cheering and then then send it to your uncle. I love that. Mason. Old Uncle Charlie. Old Uncle Charlie. Yeah. Like uh, Uncle Charlie, put your daredevil costume on underneath your clothes, <laughs> and then when when there's the reveal, stand up in the cinema and tear your shirt open, Superman style, and be like, "It's me, Daredevil! I'm, there, I'm here! I'm on the screen!" <laughs> wear the wear the mask the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, speaking of Marvel, Netflix, all their stuff is coming to uh, Disney Plus Star on March 16th, which mm. is a, to about two weeks after it leaves Netflix. Yeah, right. But in the US. That we don't know at this point because Uh-oh. they don't have Star. They have Hulu. They have Hulu. Whereas most of other places in the world, including here, don't have Hulu. So all the Hulu stuff goes to Star. Most of the Hulu stuff. Sorry, yeah. yeah. We get solar opposites. Yep. We get... Uh, oh, we get... Um, there's other shows. We get Dollface. That's a yeah, good show. I like that one. We get Only Murders in This Building. Yes. What else do we have? That's it. I'm going to check. We get Futurama. You know, Ooh. a bunch of Bob's Burgers stuff goes up there. We get Bob's Burgers, we get all of uh, Always Sunny, I think. That's right. Oh, yeah, that went up there. Anyway, good stuff. So there you go. Mm. It'll go somewhere in the US. So if you do really want to see it, <laughs> it'll turn up. It'll, it'll, yeah. show, its, it'll think, show its face. I think our, our listeners are, are savvy enough to figure out how to mm. watch those Netflix shows. You might be right. Buy them from JB Hi-Fi and Blu-ray. Exactly. Yep. Can't get season three, I checked. That's Dead still devil. true. Yeah. That's weird. It is weird. Mm. There you go. Mm. Um, last bit of news, mostly. Okay. You're going to love this. I'm ready. So, Deadline are reporting well, a couple of things. Ooh, the French Dispatch is already on Star. Yes, it is. Oh. I haven't watched that yet. You mentioned up top the Oscars, right? So they, I did. they dropped like eight categories. That, Including editing. Yeah, that they deemed irrelevant to yeah. put on television. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think if, if I've learned anything through doing this podcast and watching some truly atrocious movies, yeah. it's that editing can make or break a movie. Yeah, I mean, like. And you don't think about it a lot of the time. Because is it, if it works. You don't notice it yeah. because it flows uh-huh. seamless, seamlessly. I think like the probably the one of the most famous examples of that is Star Wars. So Marsha Lucas, who was George, who was George Lucas's wife, mm. she famously edited that and probably fixed it. Like, yeah, mm. like made it watchable and made it really quick. Like made it yeah, really, right, 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 really move. But um, that's yeah, that to me is like look, I don't watch the Oscars. Or I don't care anyway. Well, I, th- I, I think that I mean it what, still seems what mean. It, it does seem mean. I think. But I, I think there's there's probably two categories of people who watch any Oscars content and it's people who are like, oh, I wonder if my favourite actor's going to win Best Actor and then they watch the the video on Twitter. Or they're looking for a meme to get where they cut to the crowd yeah, and somebody's okay. doing a funny point or a laugh yeah. and Pacino sitting there with sunglasses on is like, wow. The person doing, when, a you, million when, you, when you pictured old. that, the person I pictured doing a funny 
point and a laugh, it was DiCaprio and Jonah Hill sitting next to each other. <laughs> yes. Being like, eee. Well, they watched The Mandalorian together, apparently. Eee. Apparently, Leonardo DiCaprio, they lived together during the pandemic, and Leonardo oh, DiCaprio nice. made Jonah Hill watch. <laughs> <laughs> You'd think it'd be the other way around, You'd wouldn't you? You'd think so, yeah. yeah. So there oh, you right. go. He's a big nerd. Well, I'm pretty sure that DiCaprio was up for Anakin. Uh, oh, yeah, of course. At one point. Yeah, right. Um, and he probably... Wisely, chose yeah. not to do yeah. it. Oh, but anyway, my other thought was either either you watch this, some snippets of it, yeah. like after it's been announced, and you go, "Oh, who won the best actor or whatever?" Who did win? DiCaprio. Yeah, for pointing and hooting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the accusatory owl. Yes, <laughs> there we go. That's that's his most famous role. Yeah. Uh, or you watch everything because you love everything. Yeah, exactly. And you want to watch the whole thing. You don't want to watch. It. You don't want to watch it and be like, "Hey, what happened to editing? How do you make?" People, a movie, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, great question. Mm. Uh, next question, though, if you don't know. How do you make the Oscars interesting to a normal person? Because uh, we both watch movies. Yes. Professionally, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I mean, for a job of sorts, yeah, yeah. okay, I guess. We've tricked people into paying <laughs> us money to watch movies. <laughs> yes. It's not the same thing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But I guess, but, but we don't watch it. No, and I'd I say might generally skim not, no. the, the winner's list. Yeah. But, like, how do you get anybody to watch this? What do you do? I would – I think you'd have to put a narrative through it. Like you'd have to – Like a cringe narrative? A cringe narrative? I don't know what that is. You know, like just a very like – like like uncomfortable like Star Wars holiday oh, special. Oh, kind you of. get you get Tim Robinson from I Think You Should Leave. To, yeah, to, to, sure. To direct it. I I reckon you might have to put sketches in and then link all the sketches together. Okay. And then people would would stick around. What if you did it like? The host like the, is, more like the MTV Movie Awards. And the host is running late and he's running through Spider-Man. He's running yes. through all the Spider-Man yes. movies. <laughs> but they won't because they're no. too classy. Yeah, they wouldn't do it. Because I remember I saw a comment, I think it was also from Deadline, that was like, this is some bullshit. Like, what's next? Like, best kiss or whatever, which is like mm. an M- Also, like, that's fine. You can have yeah, an award that's best kiss oh, if you want. Oh, that reminds me, speaking of, speaking of that... Mm. Uh, I don't know if I don't know. We, we, I'm, t- I'm sure we mentioned it last week, but the the award that has been built solely to make Spider Man No Way Home win an Oscar yes. is, is not winning No Way Home an well, Oscar. Well, so, apparently, news, it's, yeah. it's Cinderella, right? Yeah. Now. Okay. So uh, this is again from Deadline. So it it would be Zack Snyder's Justice League 100. percent Apparently, it would win, right? But oh, were it's were it's were, were it in the run counted, but it wasn't screened in cinemas. Oh, well, that's why that's that's why Zack Snyder's Justice League trended on. Exactly, it's okay. constantly trending. But yeah, yes, yeah. Uh, so yeah, you'd think it'd be Spider Man No Way Home, but no, it's Cinderella, which is a movie which everybody hates, but it's also got like a big pop star in the lead, right? Oh, with and, a lot of followers. So this yeah. isn't a jo- this isn't a trick or a I joke. I think it could be both, though. Okay, right. <laughs> like, I, I can't tell. I don't know yeah. what's ironic anymore on the internet. Like, what's tell. cringe? What's I'm too old. Cringe? I don't know. Mm. I've been left behind, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, yeah, there you go. Um, what are you voting for, though, for this year's best Oscar of Kiss? The Accusatory Owl. <laughs> Is he kissing that owl? Mrs. Owl. <laughs> are they married? Yes. Good. That's, that's important to me that the owls are married. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Mason, because we live in Australia, a country which by all accounts is terrible, um, it's one of those things where, like, you often you'll have to go into, a, like, an incognito mode to find something. Do you know what I mean? Mm, but that, I do. But that often also doesn't work. That doesn't get around certain, like, global restrictions on the internet. Do you agree with that? You'd think it would because you're like, oh, it's built right in the browser. This will be right. handy. This will be handy for something. I can, not. I can do this in, 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 in incognito, you think to yourself. <laughs> I can look up some American foods, which, <laughs> as you know, are illegal here. <laughs> That's right. Cheese Whiz. We don't have it. And it's illegal. That's right. It's like getting a rocket launcher. You cannot do it. That's right. Uh, but listen, I know most of you listening are probably thinking, look, why don't you just use incognito mode if you ever browsing anything? It seems like a safe way to go about things. But let me tell you something, Mason. Incognito mode, as we alluded to just then, this is an ad, uh, <laughs> does not hide your activity, does it, Mason? This is an ad. <laughs> I'm all for it. It uh, doesn't, it's true. Yeah, it doesn't matter what mode you use or how many times you clear the browsing history, your internet service provider can still see every single website you have ever visited. That's why even when I'm at home and also when I'm at your home, Mason, excuse me, I never go online without Express VPN. It doesn't matter, again, what your internet service provider is. ISPs in the US, for example, can legally sell your information to ad companies. ExpressVPN is an app that reroutes your internet connection through the secure servers so your ISP can't see the sites you visit. Nice. Cheesewiz.com. That's 
Don't tell anyone though. ExpressVPN also keeps all your information secure by encrypting 100% of your data with the most powerful encryption available. And most of the time, you don't even realize that it's on because, as I mentioned, uh, Australia has... Did I mention this now? Look, I've said it before. We have terrible internet. So bad. And terrible internet speed. I'm not going to get into the specifics of it, but the bloody government, et cetera, and so forth. But when you put something on like this on, you don't want it to, like, bottleneck everything that you're mm, already doing. That's right. And it doesn't do that. Like, the speed run, like, it, it works the same. It works seamlessly in the background, and it's very easy to use. All you do is tap one button, and you are protected. ExpressVPN is also, of course, available on all your devices, phones, computers, and even your smart TV. So there's no excuse, Mason. For you to not be using, there's no enough of your excuses. I will not be accepting them. No, thank you. One more excuse. There will be no excuses. Oh, actually, here's the get this right. You I'm can actually ready. protect your online activity today with a VPN rated the number one by Business Insider. Visit our exclusive link, expressvpn.com slash weeklyplanet, and you can actually get an extra three months free on a one-year package. That's expressvpn.com slash weeklyplanet, expressvpn.com slash weeklyplanet. Uh, check it out to learn more about oh. ExpressVPN. But we, we, told, we told you. I'm going gonna, gonna to look at so much cheese whiz. I hope you do. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Now, of course, we are going to be ranking some Batman and Batman movies right about now. But so, before that, I just wanted to say that we did take a, just a very, very minor break. We do it to uh, to make sure that it's recording properly. Yeah, we hit we hit stop, <laughs> and then James uh, took a big swig of his caffeinated beverage and he went, I can get through this. So, <laughs> And I can. Yeah, Mason. I know. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying positive reinforcement. Yeah, I wasn't, Sounded like mocking, but I it's wasn't not. talking to anybody but myself. Mm-hmm, yeah. But I don't, it's like there was no one else in the room. I didn't think I said it out loud. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. <laughs> um, but it, yeah, just before we get into this, um, we if you're over at BigSandwich.co, which is our bonus subscription service with Patreon, basically, it's, we did the Long Halloween for a book club this we week. We sure did, yeah. To the Batman. Mm. It's a great comic and I enjoyed talking about Some it. Some of which yeah, is probably in the Batman, probably, probably kind of. But who could say? Me, because I have You have seen, seen it. it. Yes, yes, that's right. Just to clarify. Mm. Okay, so what we're going to be doing here, we're going to, going to go through... Every are you hung over on like superiority? Is that yeah, why you're really hung? You didn't yeah. go anywhere this weekend. Sun really stings. You know mm. what I mean. Who's the best golfer among your friends? I don't care. Is the answer to that question? <laughs> That's what I thought. That's what I, I thought. don't know, and I don't care. Yeah, right. Yeah. Who thinks they're the best? I don't. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, it's me, him. actually. I'm wow. The best oh, that's player. why you yeah. never play. Yeah, never play. Yeah, we also have that Batman 1966 commentary. So that's true. That's up there. If as you're well. uh, if you if you're hankering for Batman content pre yeah. Bat the, the Batman, yep. and you're like, what uh, what what thematically is quite similar? But what could I do? Mm, Batman 66. What commentary. should I do with my yeah. time? Yeah. yeah. Anyways, like, there's, go on. No, I don't have anything. Although you had a good joke. <laughs> like, Why would you think that? <laughs> I know sometimes. Yeah, no, sometimes it's true. <laughs> Look, um, I just there's there's I think I think we do a bit in the commentary about how I would love if Robert Pattinson's Batman just has the giant bat themed gadgets that the sixties. Oh, Batman absolutely! Has. Like he's yeah, yeah, like yeah. he's at the the grisly crime scene. He's got a just an enormous <laughs> box camera with a big bat. raw raw flash bulb. It's got a big bat silhouette around it. <laughs> it says bat evidence camera on it. So uh, look, there's. In this ranking, there's some we're not really going to touch upon, either intentionally or unintentionally. Oh, wow. Like, for example, Bruce Wayne is in the first Suicide Squad movie. That's true. But it, he's, it barely counts. Mm. Uh, there's that serial from the 70s or whatever. Oh, not 70s, from like the, you know, the 40s. Bat flakes. Whatever. We're not doing that. Mm. I haven't seen it and we're not doing it. So we're basically going to go 66 upwards. This is all, this, I think so at least, the cinematic releases, including some of the animated This is very stuff. scientific also. It's also very We're going to rank them on gadgets. Yep. How good the Bruce Wayne is. Yep. At, at any point, do they hang upside down from from weird ankle shackles and, yep. and sleep like a bat or whatever? Hair. Hair. That's important. Wigs. Wigs as well. Wow, yeah. that's interesting. Mm. So, and how about this? And also, mm. how close are they to the comic book of the time? Yeah, I think mm. like what we're really looking at it here is like not only is this a good movie, mm. but is this a good Batman? Yes. Because it could be a bad Batman, but mm. a good movie. And we're going to rank them on your, your computer device here. That's I, right. I okay. uh, so first up we've got Batman 1966. <laughs> well, it's a, number one with a bullet so I far. I agree. But I would also say, um, well, also 70, i um, have got some Rotten Tomato scores here. Oh, okay. Uh, sure, that's sure, 79%, sure. so okay. very positive. Uh, of course, we did recently rewatch it and we talked about it in depth there. But what I've always liked about this, and I'll never stop saying it, it's just Batman. Yeah. Like he's he's a silly man in a silly universe. Uh-huh. But you it's just it's very accurate. It's accurate villains and costumes and it's set not the not maybe not necessarily the tone, but the idea of 
what this person is about. Sure, yeah. And the reason I think why the 89 one was successful was because everybody grew up on that one and then, you know, 20-odd years later he's back and he's real and you're grown up and he's grown up, you know. <laughs> yeah. And I think, I don't know, what do you and think? And now he's even more grown up. Exactly. In, in the Flash, he's going to be mm-hmm. even more grown up. What do you think, though? I'm loving, I'm loving the Batman. It was, uh, I mean, this would, this was sort of, we're right in the in the cusp of like in the comics, like silly Batman ears. Yeah. Because kind of the 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 comics code authority didn't allow him to, you know, mm. uh, there, there wasn't any mur- there wasn't really any murders or anything no. in the Batman books at that time. Do you? Well, there was in this movie though. <laughs> oh yeah, all those men got murdered. <laughs> all those men got murdered. All those, all those dehydrated got... men or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, so Sorry, instead, of, so instead of being like you know violent criminals, it was just yeah. silly bank robberies and stuff. So that's pretty also accurate. pretty good stunts, as we've talked about. Like, and yeah. flight sequences, very like physical and for the time, very well choreographed, and just swinging about and jumping and punching. And yeah. uh, the other thing is about this show. Do you? I was going to ask you about the Comics Code Authority. Do you think that did Batman a like a uh, like good in? In the, oh. Not obviously at the time because it was like you you know you're you're changing what people can read. That's true. But do you think that actually made people get more creative in interesting ways and allowed? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no I think for the comics industry generally, yeah. I think it might have been a positive just because they were like, well, we can't get grislier, we have to get weirder. Yeah. But that didn't. I don't think. I'll, I think there is actually a comic comic tropes video on mm. Batman in this era. Okay. Where he didn't. It was just sort of it felt a it just like like a watered down Superman. Because yeah. Superman was always visiting alien planets and, okay. and, and meeting interesting aliens, but also he was Superman, so that kind of made sense. But for Batman, he was always being zapped off to an alien planet and it's like Okay. Oh, regular man. Regular man, what's he doing here? <laughs> he doesn't know. He doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah, okay. Well anyway, uh regardless, Batman sixty six, number one. Number one with a bullet. It's just a good movie. Mm. I would argue. A very good movie, even. Whoa. It's fun, right? Yes. It's really fun. Mm-hmm. And also, I'm sure we talk about this in the commentary, but like, I think we both went through phases where we're like, this is dumb. Mm. This is silly. But it's like, it's supposed to be. Yeah. It's very well aware of what it is. Mm. And I think maybe people, including me, uh-huh. like lost sight of that at sure. one point. Do you know what I mean? To be like, they don't, they don't even realize how dumb this is. No, they made it like this. It's <laughs> intentional. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know? I think there are probably. I think there are probably movies further up the ladder here where they didn't realize how dumb it was. <laughs> you might be right. Yeah. But of course, um, and also a good Bruce Wayne. Yeah. But he, but he never hangs yep. upside down. Yeah. He's got all sorts of ridiculous gadgets. So I would also say. He's got, also, he's got, the, he's got the car. Yep. He's got the helicopter. Yep. He's got the, the, the boats. Well, we talk about it again in the commentary. But Motorbike. The, the way that they, the, 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 they took advantage of a movie budget. And yeah. we'll talk about it like in very interesting ways in that, mm. which we'll, again, if you want to listen to it, you can. This is going to be tough, though, because this mm. next one, Batman 1989, came out in 1972. And I don't know if we mentioned this. Wait, what? In, sorry, it came in at 72% on oh, tomatoes. Gosh. Jesus, yeah. <laughs> Batman 89 came out in 1972. But I don't know if I mentioned this, but Adam West was, like, annoyed that they didn't ask him to come back mm. to play Batman. Um, but anyway, this is, like, a very formative comic book movie. Yes. It, you know, it's, it's, I like it. It's a good movie. Uh, you obviously it blew your mind as a Big child, fan, yeah. and you'll never get over it. I'll never get over it. No, but go on. Is it a good Batman movie and man? I think in the main it is a good Batman. Yeah. Uh I mean there was a there aesthetically there was a redesign of of Batman. Yeah, but then you know from from grey and blue to to the all black suit, which then mm. sort of bled back into the comic books. Yeah. but I think it's. I think this was good for Batman in the comic books as well. Yeah, I, I think everything yeah, yeah. got. I think everything got and and remains a more goth. I I think the idea of Gotham City as a character. Yeah, came from this, like the the the. Might be right. The, yeah, well, yeah. I mean, you know that 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 idea has waxed and waned, and you know that waned um, over the years with you know big novelty things in Gotham City. But I think yeah. the idea of this of, of of Gotham City being an absolute nightmare horror world. Yeah, uh, I think it's kind of sprang from this, and and when you see like present day Batman comics and you look at Gotham City, you go, or the, the Arkham games or anything like that, you go, that came from this. Absolutely. Yeah, you see a lot of that. Mm. Uh, and, and specifically, they invented the grapple gun yes. for Batman, which <laughs> is, right. I also think it's silly in a way that, like, it is silly, it's a silly movie also. It is a silly it's just, movie, yeah. It's just got a different colour palette. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and the tone is obviously different than the 66, but it's still a very silly movie. How's the Bruce Wayne? Yeah, I like him a lot. I think, look, I also like he doesn't. It would it wouldn't be like traditionally the Bruce Wayne that you would speak. I think in it's your a wor- I think he's a worse Bruce Wayne than sixty six Bruce Wayne. Yeah, I'd agree with just that. Just because he's just like 
He's not that interesting. <laughs> hey, what are you? You, yeah. hanging out? you know, there's a scene where they meet Bruce Wayne. He's like, hey, what are you? What are you guys up to? What are you hanging? Oh, this is a fun room. I've yeah. never been in this room. What's, oh, yeah. yeah. I think also he's he's not given as much as he should have in those movies because it's all about Joker and we'll talk about the next yeah, one as well, yeah, you yeah. know. It's, but it, I don't in think order, it's, it's about yeah. the villains, yeah. then Batman as the action hero and yeah. then a little bit of Bruce Wayne somewhere yeah. in there. But, I mean, he's great and I'm really glad he's coming back. But here's a question, I guess. And he hangs, he hangs, and he hangs upside down. And he hangs upside down and whatever. Yeah, and he, well, I like the little glasses. Also, <laughs> well, what, where does it where does it fit? Was it is it behind Batman 66? No, I think it's above Batman 66. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess we have to agree, don't we? We have to agree. All right. I'm Otherwise, not... we, we hit a stalemate. We just keep recording God. the silence until See, we get I there. See, I, would, I would probably, if it was just me, I'd put 66 above it. Mm. I'm not going to. And you're hungover and I'm you don't want to argue. I will not fight it. Yeah, right. Uh, why, why do you say that though? I just can't, I can't think of a good reason, but I think in terms of like being formative and how accurate the yeah, original right, right. one is, I think, I, and again, like the Bruce Wayne thing you mentioned. Yeah. That is why. And also if I wanted to watch one, yeah, then again, if I wanted to watch one, I'd probably watch 89. Mm-hmm. Like if I had to pick one to watch. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, I guess. Yeah. All right. It's fun. Yeah. And he's got the jet and it goes up to the, to the moon. <laughs> Goes out of the mode. It's so weird. It's such a weird movie, though, as yeah. well. Like, mm-hmm. and he's a big murderer, and he's like <laughs> killing people on his way up that bell tower. And he's shooting Joker with. It's not that guns. accurate. It's not that accurate. No, to the not at all. Again, when I did mention that it sort of you know it 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 bled into the comic books, but maybe mm. not in a good way. But I'm yeah. still putting it up there. Yeah, no, I agree, and because. Not everything has to be 100% accurate and whatever. Yeah. A lot of this is a vibe, you know? I love vibes, actually. Yeah, it's good, yeah. isn't it? Not yeah. right now. Not feeling much of anything. <laughs> but anyway, let's do Batman Returns from 1992. It's worse than these two. Agreed. But it's let's al- break down why. It also came in at 80%. Also higher than... Higher, which really surprised me. Hmm. Also, like, famously dark. Um, oh, you know why it probably has that? Yeah. Probably because of more reviewers. That's probably true also. Because I, I, would, I would imagine most... Movie outlets at the time were like, yeah, we're not reviewing Batman. Nah. It's going to sink like a stone, this thing. Yeah, you might be right. But it had, um, so it also, uh, I nearly did a song that sounded like I said, but it had, um, like I was going to do a thing, <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't mean to do it and I will not be doing it. Because uh, the chances, the option is still here for you if you want to do it. No, no, we're okay. part, they actually, the moment has no, passed. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, so it famously, like, it, it got a bunch of, Happy Mill Toys pulled or whatever, like, because it was marketed as a kid's movie and it's clearly not. Uh, at the end, Batman kills a horrible little penguin man who throws up black bile and dies. Mm-hmm. Not through um, the actions of Batman directly. Oh, no, he sends a, six a bunch of bats on him. But then he just gets back up. Yeah, and then, and then Catwoman electrocutes him to death. No, no, no. Oh, they, no, Catwoman Max electrocutes Shrek. Christopher Walken to death. And he just, yeah. Penguin just dies. Oh, yeah, he does, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. I think it's also, you know, the problem with this movie as well. What's that? Batman's not fucking in it. Like, he's yeah. barely in it. Yeah. <laughs> and it's about a weird ma- ma- mayoral race. And yeah. And it's and a, he it's more, a guy's nose. It's a weird fairy tale involving a mutant child. Yeah. yeah. No, it's, let's put it at the bottom. I was, I've got a video up at the moment on Batman theories. And one of the theories I nearly put in, which when I was hunting around, was for this movie, is that the penguin in this is actually Killer Croc. Because he's kind of this horrible, oh. like, he's eating raw fish and yeah, right. he's really vicious. And, yeah, because like, this penguin isn't just a small man no. with, uh, with with some trick umbrellas. He's a mutant creature of some sort. With flipper hands and yeah, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they really, Tim Burton really loves his, like, freaks, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's kind of what he seems to identify with and what he finds most interesting. But, and also... And, and Batman suffers yeah, in this movie. As but well, also, so. he gets the Joker's goons, really, because he gets a bunch of clowns. Yeah, he gets clowns. the circus boys or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> the red and, something, something? Gadget wise, how do you feel about it? Yeah, cool. There's some. Uh, I mean, there's that batarang that's got a screen on it. That, yeah, yeah, whatever. yeah, yeah, yeah. The screen um, batarang. What else is in this one? Well, I he's got the. Um, okay, he's got the classic. He didn't. He didn't have it in the previous movie. He's got the glider cape where it. Yeah, see, that's one of those out. things where I'm like, I just thought that was in both, but it's obviously it's not. No. not. Yeah. Uh, did you know in the? I think it's the first Arkham game. If you pirated it, yeah. it, would, yeah, disa- it, it would disable the, the gliding yeah. function of your cape so you wouldn't... You got to a room and then you couldn't... Couldn't escape couldn't it, Couldn't escape yeah. it, yeah. Um, it, it's got the, the Batmobile where the size of the Batmobile explode off and it's just a rocket. Remember that, remember that oh, one? Oh, yeah. Just for getting through narrow passageways in the city. That's so strange because, like... Too specific, if you that ask That and, like, the Nolan one does it. <laughs> oh, yeah, it does, yeah. <laughs> that's, I don't know whether that's a coincidence or a homage or whatever. But Nolan, I, I reckon Nolan would say it's completely original. It's yeah. just a coincidence. But actually, I, think I invented yeah. this. I actually invented the uh, – this is this is an English mo- I actually, had, I, I actually had never heard of Batman before that and yeah. still have not heard of him now. <laughs> he, he does have that vibe. Yeah. Speaking of vibe. And he's also got the, the, the like, the – 
the Batmobile has the big thing in the middle of it that it's got a big lift in it. Yeah. Like a vehicle oh, and it lift turns and it turns them. it around and then he kills a yeah, that's fun. he kills a clown with that exhaust. Fire. I can't believe that clown just stands there and lets that happen. All right. Yeah. Also it's got the no was it the first one's got the shield. It's the first yes. one, right? Yeah. yeah. And the bombs. The in second the one has a more updated shield though. Yeah and that's good. Mm. I also think the costume though in two is really good. I think, I the, think the costume in one is better. Yeah, I disagree. I, I don't know. know. There's then. something. It's more Art Deco and line. Like yeah, I the guess. Lines yeah, yeah, yeah. Cow yeah. looks better. I just think it's uh-huh. awesome that costume. But again, he's not in it. He's no. not. In, he's not in that movie. Mm. Uh, but Catwoman's great, you know. Yeah, and that's cool. Mm-hmm. And maybe as someone who's covering that for Caravan of Garbage soon, better than a, another version of Catwoman <laughs> that we've seen at some point. Mm-hmm. Isn't that true, Mason? That's right. The yeah. Anne Hathaway version. That's probably true. Even I like the Anne Hathaway version. Next up, we've got. In 1993, coming in at 84% Rotten Tomato, Mm -hmm. Batman Mask of the Phantasm, uh, a continuation, of course, of... It went to cinemas, Mm -hmm. continuation of the series, sunk like a stone, nobody saw it. That's true. But... It's very good. It is very good. Yeah. Speaking of Bruce Wayne's great Bruce Bruce Wayne yeah. in that. I'm glad he gets a look in Kevin yeah. Conroy in this. Yeah, yeah. Right? and he gets an he has like an existential crisis. Yep, because he he goes to his parents' grave and he's like, ah, I didn't think I'd ever be happy. Sorry, can't yeah. fight crime anymore because I'm happy. Maybe I'm not gonna do it. I that's, hope there's not a big phantasm that comes and maybe does something that I don't like. That's some good Bruce Wayneing, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> yeah. That that puts it in the upper echelon, I think. I mean, Batman the animated series is. It's incredible, mm. and this is like a good version of that. Again, like nobody saw it. Yeah. Does like he they, have any good fun novelty gadgets, or do you just have, just I, have the I honestly couldn't tell you. Like I haven't seen it in a long time. Mm. Um, I'm trying to work out what the box office had made five point six million dollars. So yeah, again, nobody saw That's it. That's low, and they probably shouldn't have released it to cinemas. But the budget was six million, and I would say by now it would more than definitely would have made. Oh money yeah, back yeah, yeah. Some because um, it existed in an era of DVD. It also introduced a new villain. The Phantasm, is sure. Is that right? Is yes. that first appearance? Phantasm is true. Yes, yes. Yeah, cool. Yeah. All right, well, what do you reckon? Where do we put that? I would uh, say it's below 89. Okay. I don't know why. Okay. It's just a vibe. Yeah, but is it better than 66? Today, yes, it is. Yeah, all right. I don't like doing that to 66. I don't know. But uh, yeah. I feel like it's we're selling it short. Okay. Anyway, check out Mask of the Phantasm mm-hmm. and no other movies. That's right. Maybe check out Bullets. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Or wait for the remake. Wait for, it's not a remake. Yeah, wait for it, though. It'll uh, basically be a remake, but it won't be a remake. It'll be a remake. Yeah. So Batman Forever then came out in 1995, 39% mm. Rotten Tomatoes. That, it starts to get more campy and silly. You got to Jim Carrey's yeah. Riddler. You got Thomas Lee Jones doing Jack Nicholson's Joker, but not as good. Um, I like Jim Carrey in this, even though he's not doing the Riddler so much as he's doing yeah. Ace Ventura. But I guess there's some Frank Gorsham in it, like the yeah, design yeah. specifically. And I feel like this Batman, this one is in an uncomfortable position of not being as camp as it could be. Yeah. Like it's in a weird transitory phase. It is. It's between Burton and... Like even even as an adult going, you know, they were attempting just campy fun. Yeah. Does, this one doesn't work for me. I prefer any day of the week I'd prefer a Batman and Robin, honestly. See, I think that this one mm-hmm. is better at doing Batman than Batman Returns is. Okay. But I don't know whether it's a better movie. I, also, I haven't seen Batman forever in forever. Oh. But I also think Val Kilmer, he looks great as yeah. Batman. I think he's probably a, like one of the most comic accurate. Does he look great as Bruce Wayne? He looks No, yes, definitely. Definitely. You don't think? Mm. He's got the Bale kind of Bruce Wayne-ness. Yeah, in okay, that one, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I like, mm-hmm. you know? I'm going to have a quick squiz at him right now. Yeah, and he wears little glasses as well, and I love mm, it. No, that's true. He wears a little That's glasses. the continuity from, uh, from uh, the, the earlier Michael one. Keaton one, yeah. I, I mean, I know he has the – he's got the return suit, and then he transitions into the forever suit towards mm. the end. It also introduces a Robin. Yep. Which not a lot of these do. Actually, a lot of these do. Now that I look at this. Look, list. I'm not. I'm honestly, I'm not loving. I'm not loving the Val Kilmer Bruce Wayne. Yeah. The bat the bat suit. Yes. What don't you like about it? He's too blonde. He can be blonde. I mean, he's a brunette, but he looks too blonde. Oh. He looks like a blonde. He looks like a blonde. Yeah, and he's got the turtleneck and the little glasses. That's what Keaton did. Yeah, no. It's the haircut, I think. Do you think maybe if he took on he took on too much of Keaton's look and identity when he should have they should have maybe yeah. crafted a persona and look around? Correct, Kilmer nailed it. Because I know also like Kilmer should have given him black hair also. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what they did to Pattinson in the new one as well. Yeah. But um, what was I going to say? I know Kilmer was like I I think uh, I remember him, him talking about how he didn't really get to do anything with it. Like he's yeah, a, right. he's an incredible actor, mm-hmm. and he was he, like he'd done like at this point like a bunch of shit, but like. 
Tombstone, for example. Yeah, yeah. Where he does this amazing performance as Doc Holliday, and he's just kind of there in this, you know. Mm. So yeah. Well, let's. I mean, we... they do. I mean, there is that. You know, there's the element of like, is do they do the element of like the the love interest is in love with Bruce Wayne and Batman or like maybe yeah. uh, who is it? It's Nicole Kidman. It's isn't Nicole it? Kidman. Yeah. Yeah. They. I don't know. I'm gonna put this below. He's got a lot of neon stuff, though, doesn't there he? There is a lot of neon stuff, and there's some big, there's some big sort of sort of trap set pieces. There's that big, isn't there? The right at the start, there's the scene where uh, two faces. He's got the bank vault on a, yeah. on a oh, helicopter. Yeah, that's true. That's really cool, that and it's cool. filling with acid, maybe. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. yeah. And then there's the scene at the end where the riddle is trapped. Yeah, Robin and Nicole Kidman, the actor yes. Nicole Kidman, yeah. are two separate things. Yeah, ha- and he has to use his. Oh, there's a bit at the end when the the Two Face is like, "I'm going to shoot Robin," and Batman's like, "If you kill Two Face, then you'll never, you'll never, <laughs> you'll always carry hate." And then Batman just kills him. Anyway, here these have these <laughs> coins. There's a fistful of coins at him, and then he falls to his death, and he just watches it happen. Yeah, so that's cool. <laughs> that is cool. Also, he drives a Batmobile up a wall, and is that not cool? Isn't that Batman? Oh, no, that is Batman Forever. It could be any of them. It's Batman Forever. It could be Christopher Nolan's Batman. It's true, yeah. The Dark Knight. All right. I, I guess I think the question here is, is this better than Batman? It's also got Hold Me, Thrill Me, Kiss Me, Kill Me, it's and true. Seal's Kiss from a Rose. Oh, my God. I was, a, I was ready to make a summary declaration there, but then you threw in Seal's Kiss from a Rose. Ah. Okay, where does it sit, though? If, I think I would rather watch... I would rather watch Batman 66 than this movie. I agree. So it's below that. Is it better than Batman Returns? Yeah, that was my question. It's probably not. Also, I haven't seen it recently. So I can't, I honestly, I don't know. But probably not, right? I think it's below. I think it's below Batman right, Returns. We'll put it in. That okay. that's subject to change uh, yeah. when we, we do this again. We forget right. we did it. And we do it again. We'll, we'll yeah. do it in another entire episode, <laughs> and they'll come out either very similar or completely different. That's right. <laughs> uh, next up, of course, at 1997, and coming in at 12 percent on Rotten Tomatoes Uh-oh. is Batman and Robin. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, it sucks, <laughs> but boy, what a ride! Yeah, you know, it's very interesting. Mm, it is interesting. <laughs> yeah, but like. What a terrible Mr. Freeze, like, suit and all. Really? Like, you think so? Yeah, that suit is atrocious. Like, But that, what about when he's wearing his little robe? That's for, oh, 100%. I'm there yeah. for that all day. But just, like, it does, it's like, a, I don't know, he looks like a like a rejected He-Man action figure. I know. And it's just. Oh, because you prefer the, the, yeah, you prefer the skinny scientist love version. To see, or just, just something that, I don't know. Yeah. Doesn't, he doesn't have to be skinny because he's been big. And I'll tell you this. I hate the Robin suit in this. I hated the previous one as yeah, well. Yeah, right. Because they never... They, uh, also, he's 27. He's 27. <laughs> he's exactly the same height as Batman. Yeah. But they never do, in my opinion, a real proper Robin suit. Yeah. You've seen the Titans Robin suit? Yeah, it's yeah, amazing. Yeah. Uh, but but in, they went... They, what they did is they did a sort of half-assed Robin suit in Batman Forever, and then they switched entirely to basically a Nightwing suit for yes. Batman and Robin, even though he's still Robin. But they're having like, that conversation about, yeah, you know, and I think it's too soon. I don't like either of them. Yeah. So, oh, I think one thing, one of the things that movie does do well in terms of Robin is uh, um, a Robin who's a full-grown man who's the same size as Batman. Man. But that him and Batman are having a falling out. Oh and yeah. You're like, oh, this is going towards Nightwing. And then they don't do it, and then they yes. just patch it up at the yeah. end, and they're like, uh-huh. "No, nah, we're friends." Yeah. Also, but again, this is—is is this more? Is this more campy than? I feel this is way more campy than Batman Forever, but I think it's maybe because yeah, I haven't definitely because I haven't seen Batman Forever. In, in well, again, I, I'm to spoil the theory video that I've got out. One of the theories is the reason why it's so campy is because the Riddler used that machine to break everyone's brain in Gotham. Oh, and so, so the next gone movie insane. runs <laughs> rolls around and everybody's just really fucked up, <laughs> like just loopy. Yeah, right. Uh, okay, because he invaded their mind. But um, I look Clooney. If you gave him the right movie, he would be an amazing Bruce Wayne. I agree. But this is not it. No, absolutely he's, not. And he's not very good. But I think it's better than Batman Forever. <laughs> yeah, I think it's more entertaining. I don't know if it's better. Yeah, but it, uh, yeah, I agree. It's probably better than Batman Forever. So and he let, does. And if we're talking gadget, like, I think better Bruce Wayne personally. Yeah. I also think better gadgets because he's got the Bat credit card. Does it have better fake rubber lips? Who had fake rubber lips? Robin, he kisses poison ivy and then he's oh, wearing rubber course. lips. Yeah, all right. Yeah, it does then. Yes. <laughs> it does. That's a good gadget, yeah. <laughs> Just the idea of like a domino mask. And I know that's Robin in general. Yeah. But let's – come on. What are we doing here? Right. And he, the bat credit card. Yeah. Yep. And Batman Forever is the one where he goes, I'll get drive through. 
right? Yes, it is. How does he get that into drive through? That enormous <laughs> I vehicle. I don't know. Yeah. There might be one like Gotham City McDonald's slash Hungry Jacks. Yes. Where where it's Burger wide King, enough. You mean? No, no, in Gotham, in Gotham City. It's Hungry it's, Jacks. It's Hungry like Jacks. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so we're putting that above Batman Forever. But sometimes there's a big line at yeah. the Hungry Jacks, the the one Hungry Jacks that's wide enough for his car. Yes. So he just smashes the whole thing down. Is it better, and I know the answer to this, but you it's not obviously you wouldn't put it above Batman Returns. No. But it, I like I also don't think that I don't think it's a mistake. Like no. as in like yeah. they accidentally did this silly thing. I yeah. think like sixty six, it's supposed to be oh, like yeah. this. Yeah. And that's good. I agree. But it's not a good movie. No. <laughs> Let's revisit it in another 20 years. I agree. God, what else happens in that movie? Uh, 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 boy, Bane's in it for two seconds. Oh, yeah, Bane's in it. Uh, Fuck, I forgot that. Bad Bane. Oh, that's a terrible Bane. No, I can't put it up for that alone. <laughs> then we're going to jump ahead eight years. Okay. Which this felt like a million years apart, though. Mm. In 2005, uh, coming at 84%, we got Batman Begins. Which we recently talked about on, on Caravan of Garbage, obviously. Extensively. Oh, yeah, we did. We covered the entire saga. <laughs> we sure we're wrapping did. up this week. We're doing part five of the Nolan saga that's this right, week, yeah, aren't we? Yeah. yeah, that's interesting. Um, I can't believe that there was eight years between these movies. Mm. Like, just, Batman Begins is fucking amazing. I also. agree, yeah. It's, it might be the best of the Nolan ones also. Oof. Maybe. If you took out Heath we'll, Ledger. We'll have to do an actual yeah. rewatch, I think. It's yeah, I think so. But I think if you took out Heath Ledger from The Dark Knight, yeah. which is like, yeah, just take out a really integral element to that <laughs> amazing movie, uh-huh. then Batman Begins is better. But mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean, I just, what I loved about it was the origin as well. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it, we, you know, in the Batman universe, in the comic books, we'd only ever seen snippets of that. And, you know, the, Going into this, people were like, oh, this is going to be Batman Year One. Yeah. But Batman Year One, the comic book starts, he's already arriving back in Gotham. He's yes. done his training. But this we see before that. Yeah. So it's kind of original content. Yeah. But it's not bad somehow. I agree. And the I just I love that that muddy brawl that he has in the prison. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he's just kicking out knees. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, I just think that that's such a good scene. Now, gadget wise, what are we doing? We've seen the origin I, a lot of a gadget. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of like, it's a lot of trying to make sense of this dumb shit. Yeah, and there's a lot of like, like the cloak I like, where the you, where you run a current through it and it, sure, yeah, it doesn't yeah, make yeah. any sense, but mm. you wouldn't you'd you'd, you'd you'd sing like a stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crash like a stone. You'd fly like a big stone. Mm, you'd fly like an eagle to the sea. <laughs> That's right. A little bit of seal for seal, you. Seal's a seal joke for you, everybody. It's not a joke, James. <laughs> I love seal. <laughs> I love. Do you see the? You've seen Pop Star Never Stop. Never yes, Stop yes. Me. Our seals in that, and there's a moment where he explains that he got his he got his scar because he was attacked by wolves. Right. There's that sequence. Anyway, what are we doing? Okay. Bale's and- a great um, Bruce, Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne. Yes. His Batman is kind of ridiculous though. Oh yeah, the for voice, sure. You know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, look, I think I think to get like. We've got the tumbler, obviously, but I, vehicles wise, you don't like the tumbler. Though, I don't do like you? it. No, yeah, it's not batty enough. We didn't talk about that weird, um, insane, uh, like uh, hypercolor core from the previous movie. No, we didn't. That's true, <laughs> but it's in it because everybody imagined it in their minds. We didn't have to. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you don't. I see. I like the like. I mean, it, it doesn't really make sense, but the supposed practicality of the tumbler, where if you're chasing people. Or you're uh-huh. trying to escape, or you're leaping rooftops, then you would just need a tank. Sure. You know? And mm. often Batman, also in the comics, he has a tank. Uh, yeah. But it also looks like weird geometry. It does. <laughs> like doesn't, it doesn't yeah. look like nothing yeah. very bat about it. Mm. I mean, it's not as bad as the bat in a later movie. No, that's true. Look, yeah. yeah. But I mean, excellent, excellent, excellent Bruce Wayne, I yep. think, is, uh, is, is the, what we get here. And we get, we get the duality of like mm. fake Bruce Wayne who's like the CEO Bruce Wayne who's falling asleep in meetings yeah. and we get real Bruce Wayne. I love that Bruce Wayne. He's like, Wayne. oh, I'm sad. I love that Bruce Wayne of like he's happy to, delay, to for everybody to think he's a moron. Mm. He just doesn't care. Like he'll just be like, yeah, I'm drunk publicly. Yeah, I burnt down my house. He doesn't <laughs> care because yeah. like, he's just so removed from like, yeah. you know, from any of that. He just doesn't give a shit. Yeah. That oh, we, be- haven't, we didn't even rank. We, James, we forgot to rank the bad caves. That's true. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, let's do it really quickly. Uh, the original one, 66. Great. Fun, good. Yep. Bright. Everything. 89, loved it. Loved, also, loved the redesign. if I'm in that Batcave in uh, 66, yep. I know exactly what I'm looking for because everything's labelled. You know what I mean? That's true, yeah. I know yeah. what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. Eight, it's 89, I'm like, this is confusing and I'm going to trip into a pit. Yo, you're definitely going <laughs> to die in that back. But, oh, it's all, all over the place. All the 89, yeah. uh, they're pretty good. Uh, but where's like... 
the big coin? Where's the dinosaur? Yeah, there should have been a big you know? coin. Yeah, but yeah. Where's that in any of this, I guess? Yeah. You know? uh, and uh, this one. But what about the, do you want to know if forever and Batman no, who cares? and whatever, <laughs> neon whatever? <laughs> a lot of neon, I would imagine. Yeah. And I don't actually remember. No, neither know. do I. And oh, Alfred's on a computer. Oh, yeah. Alicia Silverstone's in one of those Whoa, caves. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. But the uh, Dark Knight one. Well, the Dark Knight. No, sorry, the Batman Begins one. You like the cave? I can't remember. I don't think it's very good. It's just a cave. Yeah, it's just a cave. I don't, yeah, no. Nah. He spelunks into it. It's got mm. a computer. Yeah. What else is it? That's it. God, I wish I knew more. You know what I mean? <laughs> Sure, I yeah. wish we recently did them for something so mm. we could talk about them, but we didn't. We chose to do a big joke instead. We did a big prank. <laughs> it was good for everyone. Every everybody, big laugh. Yeah, I like uh, Rachel Ghoul. Mm. Uh, again, all that League of Shadows shit is good. I like the Scarecrow. I like the the mob boss element of what of it as well. All true. Yeah, I think that's all good stuff. Which is the one where he gets he throws one of the mob bosses out the window and breaks their legs. That this one, yeah, he drops him off the building, does he? Yeah, is yeah. That this one, no, that Eric, Eric Roberts. Roberts. That's yeah. two. That's Dark that is Knight, two. Right? Okay, right. Yeah. This is the one, though, that doesn't, like, he really sticks, commits to that voice, though, doesn't he? Yeah. And Rachel is in it. Mm. But then. Rachel! 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 Okay, where are we, where are we ranking Batman Begins? Oh, and it's a, it's a, we haven't really done this, but probably my favorite Gordon. Ooh, yeah, okay. Yep, you're yeah. right. It's the best of the. I've, I, I've, obviously, I'm excluding anything recently, mm. but. Uh, yeah, he's a good. He's a good. He's a good. There's not enough J.K. Simmons for no, me. No, but I mean, like, that's, that's, the, that's the Gordon we've had since the. Yeah. 80s at least. Yeah. Like that, the mustache and the matted down hair and the yeah. glasses I also, uh, and, the, and the dirty trench coat, that kind of like grizzled detective. Mm. And he's he's the commissioner, but he's still grizzled, you know. You know what I th- think is also good about this one as mm. opposed to even The Dark Knight? The city feels more like deliberately crafted where mm. The Dark Knight is like, we did this in Chicago. You're like, right. No, we know, we can tell. Yeah. You know, big wide streets. Yeah, yeah. It's like that's the Chicago Bears. They're all walking down the street. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean, though? Yeah. There's not a lot of kind of Gotham character in the other two. I mm. think there is in this, and it's probably because you see like the Narrows and yeah, yeah, and all yeah, of yeah. that, and you'd see like weird facilities and you know whatever, yeah. whatever. Mm. You know? Okay, where's this going? This is this might be the best one so far. I think. Yeah, I think you're probably... also a big murderer. He's a big murderer, but they I mean, you know, yeah, they're they're all big murderers. I'd put it above eighty nine. Yeah, let's put it above eighty nine. All right, here we go. Then this is this is about to heat up. Oh, and this is this is the one that's going. Oh, James, we're going to get hate mail for this. Good, I embrace it. Um, <laughs> the Dark Knight, The Dark Knight, two thousand and eight, ninety four percent Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, um, everybody tried to make their own The Dark Knight. They sure did. This mm. some did better than others. Yep. Um, all right, how's the Batman in this first? I love this suit. I know you don't like it though. Don't I? Well, I don't know. Okay. Do you like it? If I recall, the thing that I don't like about the Bale Batman suit is the weird contrast between the cowl and the cape. Yes. Because the cape is very matte. You know what else I don't like about this? Yeah, go on. It doesn't let his chin show. It's like just shows this part of his mouth. Yeah, like right. The, like a, like yeah, a, okay, you're right. I think, yeah, the, yeah. I think the cowl needs yeah. work. I mean, obviously. But with, I like the movement of yeah. it. Yeah. With this one and the next one, we're st- again, we're still going to get... Well, actually, no, there's a big change with the next one, but this one we're still going to get Batman. He's a playboy, but also he's there's a the, big change with the next one. Well, he's all uh, he's a uh, he's uh, like a he's, he's stuck at home with a bum leg. Oh, yeah, I thought you meant the suit. Oh, like, no, 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 I'm a, I'm into Bruce Wayne, yeah, yeah. And I think also you don't like the bat pod, is that true? I don't so? like the bat pod. Why would it be Why? in there? <laughs> Why would it be in there? <laughs> Maybe you put bat- it in. Maybe you put it in there. Uh, nah. You don't think he did? I mean, whether he did or he didn't, <laughs> <laughs> why is it there regardless? Right, yep. Yeah. Because he, it, in case it did a big The military crash. wouldn't have put it in there. Yeah. So he must have done it. Yeah. Did he invent it? Where did it know. come from? I don't know. Lucius Fox? Lucius Fox probably Does did he make it. weird gyroscopically stabilised motorbikes <laughs> on his off hours? Did he And do then that? Bruce Wayne's like, I have one of those. Remember the bit where it goes... No, this is my invention. For, I'm going to make a billion dollars. No, no, I want Dude, it. Dude, remember... You made it on Wayne Company time. <laughs> yeah. I own it now. <laughs> What about the bit where he goes up the wall? And, and he goes, vuh, 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 vuh. or when it goes around a corner and the wheel fucking seems more of a barrel rob- rolls. seems more of a Robin thing to do. I fucking love it. I yeah, think it's you great. Would. You would, and it's really unique. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Batcave, and the cape out the back yeah. as he's going again. Robin would be Robin's in that role, man. Yeah, but he, you he, save the Bat Pod for Robin. <laughs> it's the Robin, po- the Rob Pod, okay. the Rob Pod. <laughs> Okay. Bat cave, garbage. Not a real bat cave. <laughs> just a wet hole just, in the wall. Just a, just a weird, 
Just a weird hotel lobby underground. Oh yeah, that's right. I was thinking of the first one. You're oh. right because the first one burnt down or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's in a it's in a shipping container. It's a shipping it's container. It's a big white room. Yeah. That's yeah. Well, it's, just, I, it's I think they use it for hip hop videos now I, as well. I, that space. No doubt. But I would also say yes. that that is not supposed to be the Batcave. I know. So why stick around for so long? <laughs> why why give us two move two more movies of that? Because he burnt. No, he did. Does he have it in the next one? I can't remember. Because he lets John Blake into the Batcave in the next isn't one. That a big, se- isn't that a, a new big, place, though? It might be. That's a new on a, destination. On a big elevator. Mm, yeah. And he gives him a big elevator ride. That's true. Yeah. Um, anyway, it's a, it's a very good movie, isn't it? Heath Ledger's in it. Yeah. And yeah. everybody's just been I, to, I might rank this at the top for Heath Ledger's performance alone, if I'm honest. Yeah, they're trying to, like, a lot of people are trying to capture that Joker magic, you know what mm, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm talking about Jared Leto specifically. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, but it also, I think, gave rise and to... Mike Phoenix. Yes. But I think he did it obviously better, even though I don't love that movie. Yeah. Oh, was, and we're not doing that one. because no, we're not doing it, yeah. Now, I guess, yeah. That's right. But it's at the bottom. What do you think of that? Whoa. <laughs> That's all right. Anyway, um, I mean, Heath Ledger, yeah, it's incredible. Yeah. I mean, it's... God, I don't know. I think if we're ranking Batmans, and we are ranking yeah. Batmans, I think Batman Begins goes above this one. Yeah. I, th- I think this goes... It goes Batman Begins, Dark Knight. I agree. Mm. But, you know, they're both good. Yes. Aren't they? Yes. Oh, but here's... James, this one's going to get some bloody hate mail, isn't it? Two-Face, though. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's true. And that big, like, that that effect on his yeah. face is... Yeah. And the opening with the heist and yeah. the whatever. And the end with a Rachel! 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 Down in the middle, because she explodes. Rachel! Yeah, she was yeah. going to break up with him. Yeah, yeah. And he didn't know that. And then Alfred's like, I oh, burnt the letter. And then, and then later he's like... We oh, haven't mate. been ranking Alfreds, but it's too late now, I think. It's Michael Caine, I think. Yeah. Oh, you think he's... Oh, we're going we're to do a separate table for ranking I the Alfreds. I love Michael Okay, Caine. next week, instead of... Review- yeah, and he's funny. Instead of reviewing the Batman next week, we're just going to rank the Alfreds. <laughs> you like him, right? Yeah. 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 And just I think the rapport between them is good. Mm. You know, you believe their relationship. I think he should have had a little mustache You're probably and a right. bald patch. And it's just the, the hair along the sides yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. I just know there's something about, I like the fun that he brings to it. And I think. Oh, you mean that fun story about the man who <laughs> burnt, watches the world burn? Yeah, and so he decided to burn down a forest to, to get a man who was stealing diamonds or something? Yeah. Mm. That is a fun story, just James. Let him you're go. right. He is funny, that guy. <laughs> no, but he makes fun of Bruce Wade a lot. Yeah. He's like, you're ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're ridiculous. Yeah. I'm doing this, but I this is ridiculous. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and we're both going to jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. You, we're going to jail, Master Bruce, and when are we going to get out? Never. <laughs> never. Yeah, you know he does like, that line? Yeah. He's like, never. He's doing little little speeches of confidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's great. Yeah. Anyway, but never. Th- I think Alfred's all good, though, at all. Yeah. I don't think there's a bad Alfred. Mm. Um, next, we've got The Dark Knight Rises, which, of course, came out in 2012. Worse got, than these two. Got an 87%. Worse than I, the previous I two. I agree. I like it. Mm. Um, okay, I, but if we're ranking Batmans. Yeah. Uh, he's got a knee brace. He's got a knee brace. He's, he's got his spine. We got, we got to rush through the the Bane storyline. We got to rush through Nightfall. Yeah, Night Quest, Night's End. Yeah, remember when he picks Are we going to add another goes, Batman? No, there's no time. And he goes bonk. I think what gives him a big back bonk. What 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 this one does better, and probably the Dark Knight does better than Batman Begins, is that you can see the combat more. Yes, that's true. Uh, but I think it's like probably purposefully obscured in the first mm. one because he's a, he's a creature of the night and whatever. But night, it's also right. very weird in this movie where I'm he's... I'm a creature of the night or whatever. <laughs> Who's that? I'm a creature of the night or whatever. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but in this one, he's just like out fighting Bane yeah. on the steps. Oh, yeah, that's true. That, in that's, the daylight. I always, every time I saw, when I saw the production still for that, I'm like, ooh, shades of uh, 1960s Batman. Yeah. Just standing on the just streets, up, just standing on the steps of City, City Hall. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, citizens, it's me, Batman. Yeah. And the cops were living in the sewer for a year or whatever. That's right. And they come rats. out with immaculate uniforms mm-hmm. and they charge the criminals head well, on. Once your trench coats get, once your trench coat gets like dirty and rumpled enough. Yeah. That's the the what we call Columbo saturation. It's true. Once your trench coat is dirty enough, it, it won't get any dirtier. So, um, it's a, this is a, it's a very silly movie. It's very silly. Yeah. Yeah. In a good way, I feel. No, that, I don't right? know. Don't think so. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> this is the absolutely the. I mean, this is. I'm not breaking any ground here to say I think this is the weakest one of those. Yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's true. But um, you know, I, I don't even hate this take on Bane that he's like he's very injured and in pain. So and, he's and British and British, and so he's probably you know he's on a bunch of pain medication constantly. Mm. I guess that's fine. Yeah. Uh, they did that plane stunt at the start for Good real, plane or whatever, stunt, yeah. which is something. Mm. I like the fight, the first fight between Batman and Bane. Where he just gets like trounced, sure. Like he's just throwing everything out of it. It's just uh-huh. like he just 
keeps getting hurt. Yeah, well, he could have used a gun. <laughs> he could have used just a, a gun. regular gun. Yeah, absolutely. Or his grapple gun. Just a bat gun in reserve. Just a big bat gun in reserve. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, he kills Tali Al Ghul with a missile as well. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Remember that bit? Yes. She just shoots the big truck. Yeah. And she crashes and dies. Yeah. Uh, where does this go then? Mm. Uh, I think it's below 66, but I it's think above it, returns. I Yeah, look, I th- gosh. I think it's below 66. Mm. But are you saying that it's better than 66 just because the budget is bigger and it looks better? No, I'm saying it's worse. Sorry, I think it's worse than 66. Yeah, it is worse than 66. So I, but sorry, between 66 and returns. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. How's that sound? Yep, so I right. would, I think it's better than Batman Returns. Yep. Because I guess it is a Batman movie, whereas <laughs> Batman Returns is not uh, a Batman yeah. movie. Uh-huh. It's about Christmas and freaks. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, <laughs> it feels weird to be like Batman sixty six is better than this like two hundred and fifty million dollar movie. But well, I mean, <laughs> Nolan should have made a better movie then, I guess. <laughs> but I like, I still like it. Yeah. Like, I like it. There's like none of these. I'm like, I really hate this. Yeah. Yet. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of, here we go. Uh, Batman v Superman: Dawn of Justice, 2016, yep. uh-huh. uh, 29% Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, big thumbs down from the critics. But mm. critics don't—they uh, don't say, know everything, do they? Would you say that maybe this movie has its fans, Mason? Oh yeah, I might. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I would. I reckon if you if if you asked around, I reckon there'd be a few people on the old internet. Yeah, who might have a few nice things to say about this movie, and why not? Exactly. What a barrel of laughs. Oh, this movie. Okay, as, as Bruce Wayne, how's Ben Affleck as Bruce Wayne? I think. Great. Agreed. Because he's got – wait, do we see him as – we never see him as lazy CEO Bruce Wayne. We don't we see are, him – we see him as cool guy Bruce Wayne. Oh, that's a good point actually. But yeah, also I would say like the Batman animated series, he's cool guy Bruce Wayne as mm, well, right? But is this Batman too – is this Bruce Wayne too cool? He might be too Because cool. he's always – he's always he's having pills and booze for and, and women for breakfast oh, or yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah, he's like – yeah, because like Batman, like we don't learn that woman's name. No, like Batman doesn't drink, mm. like famously, I guess, because uh-huh. you see in like, well, that's one of the things I love about is it the Dark Knight? Yeah, mm. when he takes the champagne flute and he like throws it out over the balcony. It's yeah, not yeah. like I don't drink, mm. like, but he's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course he doesn't drink. Imagine if Bruce Wayne <laughs> saw you today, James. <laughs> it would be wild, right? Mm-hmm. But um, you'd be like, oh my god, you're real, and he'd be like. <laughs> Shame on you. <laughs> Embarrassing. God. Well, I'd never leave Gotham City in your hands, James, <laughs> who I know all about. What? Yeah. Did you listen to the show? No. <laughs> oh, no. No, he's just heard of so it. So he's not a fan yeah, of it. Yeah, I, I, I feed him exclusively negative information about you. <laughs> well, that wouldn't be hard to do. Um, but anyway, yeah, so but I do feel like it does a bit of like this guy does it all. Yeah. He beds women, he drinks, and he's out at night. You know what yeah, I mean? Oh, yeah. Where I think, like, they were sort of trying to do the Dark Knight Returns yeah. where he's older, mm. but he quits drinking and then comes back yeah. at the time. But with the, here they just, like, no, he still drinks. But at the same time. He, do, he would use pills and booze because yeah. he's been punched a bunch. No, that's true. But at the same time, opening sequence where he, he attempts to save the, his employees, that's a great scene. I, that is That is great. That is an incredible start to a... And, then, and what we and what you what you want is you want a scene where Batman does Bruce Wayne stuff, yep. and you go, oh, he's not just yeah. That's why because we mentioned in the '66 movie, there's a scene where he's just Bruce Wayne and he's taken on all the bad guys at once. Oh, it's good. And that's a cool scene. Yeah. And it's the same with this. It's like, okay, but are you just a guy in like a mech suit? Yeah. With a bunch of gadgets and an indestructible tank car? Anyone can do it. Because that's you... not fun. Yeah. But th- this is good. because guys... I mean, he's just driving, really. No, but, but he's it, driving very well. But even you see the bit where like, you're talking about the start where everybody's running away and he's running into the yeah, rubble yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously the warehouse sequence. Mm. And look, this isn't a Batman movie, really. It's about know what it's about but it's, it's got a bunch of themes doesn't it we've yeah, covered sure it for yeah. garbage but yeah it's not really he's in it but it's it's yeah. not a batman movie mm. really that was probably more of a batman movie than a superman movie i guess yes mm-hmm. yeah anyway and they have a big punch up with superman and it's and it's okay mm. yeah. you know and it's bad but yeah it's okay <laughs> uh how do we rank this batman then uh it's probably is it better than the dark knight rises yes you think yeah, I think it is. It might yeah. be actually. Yeah, I think it is. God, I don't know if that's true. But again, this this is this is I don't know. Yeah, but I, I mean, he's he's comic. He's he feels comic book accurate. Yeah, I think he's way more comic book accurate. Yep. than the Dark Knight Rises that, yeah, Batman. The points there. Obviously. I think there's points there. Yeah. yeah. 
All right, yeah. let's put him in a bubble. Does he ever hung upside down from the shackle things? He's the bit at the start where the cops find him and he's hanging off the roof and they That's start, very, yeah, they okay. start just like unloading fucking shotgun that shells counts. at him. That counts. <laughs> that counts. Absolutely. And warehouse fight where he kills yeah, a bunch yeah. of men. Mm-hmm, Remember sure. the bit where he uses his grapple gun to pull that box into that dude's face? And the guy cracks his head on a wall or whatever, <laughs> and then, yeah. And then the blood smear down yeah, the wall. Yeah, I remember that. Remember the bit where he kicks the grenade into that dude and he yes. explodes or whatever? Yes, I remember. remember, every, remember when he... <laughs> James, every kill Batman has ever done has been... It's in a video. It's been melted into my brain, yes. What about the bit where the guy's like, I'm going to kill this guy's mum, and he's like, I, I'm, I'll kill you first. <laughs> and I did. I just did it. What do you think about that? I don't know why I'm still talking to you. You're dead because I killed you. You know what I think the problem with this is, though, this guy is? Yes. The suit, especially in hindsight, it's too big. He's too big. It's weird. It's weird how big he is. No, it is weird how big he is. And it's fake big. Like, it's not like he's big. Isn't Affleck quite big in that movie? Yeah, but you see him in, like, real life and you see him shirtless and he's Mm. added, like, big muscles to his suit. I think think that's just your imagination that's adding the, the width to him. You know what you're forgetting, though? What's that? That he fights... Doomsday in this movie also. <laughs> it's true he does, yeah. So does that make it still better than... <laughs> yes, it does. Because I don't like any of that. No. No? All right. I think it's better than Dino Roses. All right, I'll yeah. do it. I don't care. Okay, great. <laughs> yes, Persistence <laughs> wins again. Do you know what also came out that year, though? Uh, never, you're never going to believe this, Mason. Uh, uh, some sort of Lego Batman? No, The Killing Joke. Oh. 2016. 38% Rotten Tomatoes. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's bad. It's yeah, it is bad. Let's put it at the bottom. Let's put it at the bottom. It's I don't like it. Bad movie. It's a weird relationship with Batgirl. Yeah, Girl. like that's bad. Mm-hmm. Um, it's also they do a bunch of other stuff at the start before they get to the killing joke. Yeah, it could have been really good. I think mm. the performances are good. I think like you know Mark Hamill, Kevin Conroy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't sure, really sure, go sure. Wrong there, but just I don't know. They I, they didn't. They could have updated it in interesting ways. But they only updated it in weird in ways. In weird and bad ways. Mm, let's and put it at the bottom. I think it would have been way better if they went, this is 40 minutes. Because the killing joke is like, it's like one issue, you know what I mean? Or yeah. whatever mm. it is, 30, 40 pages, yeah, I can't yeah. remember. But that's why it's, there's like this whole subplot about a crime boss who's in love with Batgirl who she's trying to stop and then it just goes, and now it's time for the killing joke, everybody. <laughs> and I didn't like it. There could have been a, a, an opening short where... Batman's trying to rescue a baby that keeps running around in dangerous situations. I like that. Mm. Yeah. It's down the bottom. Yeah. Then 2017, Uh 90% Rotten Tomatoes. Hello. The Lego Batman movie. Oh, okay, sure. This is a fun one. Mm. Um, Have you seen it? Yes. It's good. It's Mm -hmm. funny. Will Arnett is Batman. I'd probably watch it once a month. Sure. (laughs) Now, as far as Bruce Wayne goes, he's never really Bruce Wayne, is he? Not really. He's just been cool the whole time. So he loses points for that. It's got Robin. Does have Robin. But it's got, and it's got all of his rogues galleries. That's true, yeah. It's got the Phantom Zone. Yeah. It brings in a bunch of other franchises, yeah. including Harry Potter and yeah. <laughs> King Kong and stuff, I think. Did we review it? No, I don't think we did. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we did. I think it's fine. I think it's really good. <laughs> okay. Would you put it above The Dark Knight Rises? Yes. No, no, I wouldn't. I personally wouldn't. Would you put it above Batman Returns? I would yes. definitely put it above yeah, Returns. I would, yeah, yeah. I would actually put it higher in general, yeah. but whatever. Again, I'm hungover, so... Yeah. You win. <laughs> and we're towards the end of the list. Yes, yeah, So we're right. running out of steam. Exactly. So. Oh, wait. You're going to have to get some steam back in your britches, Mason. Okay. Because in 2017. Hold on. I'm just going to steam my britches. <laughs> in 17, uh, 2017, coming in at 40% is Joss Whedon's Justice League. Mm, and Justice League. Yeah. This is, um, as, as I've famously said, this is a famous thing that I've said. Uh-huh. I think it's as a movie, it's okay. But it's. I mean, it's not really. As a Justice League movie, it's like atrocious. I hate it. It's the worst one. It's the worst one. It's the worst. It's the worst uh, DCEU movie there is, I think. But it's also the worst because they just tried to make it a different movie. Like, that's. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They went, oh, let's make something good and crowd pleasing. Yeah. But that's not my fault, is it? No. All I can say is. No, no, no. I'm not. Are you saying it's my fault, James? (laughs) What I'm saying is, like, I'm not. That's not an excuse. I'm saying Mm. that's. One of the reasons why it's yes. bad, and that is not a good. So, just because it had corporate interference doesn't yeah, mean yeah. that that's okay. Yeah, that's but let's, bad. But like, look, look, let's break down this Batman. He has a gun. He has an alien gun. He's got an alien gun. He's all sweaty all the time. Yeah, he's clearly like because of the reshoots. He's clearly like struggling, like personally. Wig is bad. Wig is askew. Wonder Woman shoves him that time. That's fun. I like that. Uh <laughs> what 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 is good in this? The song that the people sing at him. No, that's in the that's other in the one. other one. Uh He's got a. He's got a. All his vehicles are weird. He fights Superman, sort of. Not really. 
He turns up late to fight Superman. His vehicles are worse than the Nolan verse vehicles. Yep. Because none of them are bat related. They're all sea creatures for no reason. One's a crab. Yep. One's a big whale. Mm-hmm. And there's the car, obviously. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. He couldn't get that ship to fly. How did he do it? He just did it. Cyborg, was it? I like Alfred. Yeah, He's sure. also in Batman v Superman. That's true. It's worth a mention, I guess. Yeah. Uh, How's the Batcave? I don't hate it. Yeah. It's a little clean, I would mm. say. And it's also one level. Yeah, You know is. what I mean? It's like one. It it's looks got like stuff a, in it. Yeah, it does, but it's got like a he's, the costume of his. Have they ever done the dinosaur? It's got a costume of the dead boy that that's, he knew. Yeah, the dead boy. Yeah, yeah, the dead body <laughs> that he put in the line of fire of crime <laughs> yeah. and was murdered. Do they ever do the giant penny in the dinosaur? I don't I think don't they do. I don't think they do. Oh, God. But it feels like a museum. A bit. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Because it's yeah. got like glass cases of yeah, things yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and whatever. But you know, he's constantly working on a new headset or whatever. I don't know. And then he's like, then Batman Tactical Genius is like, hey, now that I've got you here, hmm. um, stay here, stay, and here. I'll and I'll do this. I'll assemble this. He's thing. a bad Batman. No, he's a bad great. Batman. Bad yep. Bruce Wayne. Yep. Uh, he's all sweaty. Yep. Bottom of the list. Bottom, but under the Killing Joke. <sighs> killing Joke was probably cheaper to make. <laughs> it not probably was. It was definitely. It's got Kevin Conroy as well. It's got Mike yep, Hamill. You're right. Yep. Fair enough. Justice League is so on bad. Top. Justice Justice yeah. Week. Well, it's interesting coming back to this now because now we're doing uh, 2021 Zack Snyder's Justice League. 71 percent Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, right. Famously, uh, will win the Oscar for most popular picture ever. That's made. That's right. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to that to getting yeah. up this year. Big upset, but. Um, <laughs> It's I like. Better. Yeah. I like it. I yeah. think it's cool. And I said this when we reviewed it. It's like the chronicles of Riddick of Justice League Batman movies. And because it's did you say that something like that? Because you know, like there's Pitch Black, and you're like, oh, that's a fun little like uh-huh. adventure. I wonder what else is happening in this universe. Oh my god, <laughs> what is happening? I don't. I changed my mind. I didn't want to know. <laughs> no, thank you. But like flashbacks, a dark sided big stone. Men talking to yeah, each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> just like, uh-huh. and I, it also like it makes much more sense than it does make the other more ones, sense. and it's much better than Batman v Superman. That's I feel true. as an, and it's got the nightmares. No, it doesn't have the nightmare sequence. Yeah, it does. It does have a nightmare sequence. Yes, a different one than the second than Batman v Superman. Yeah. Um, How's the Batman though? We have got to rank this Batman. What's he doing in this one? <laughs> Great question. He's assembling the team properly, I yes, guess. Yes, that's true. You know? mm-hmm. He's making a go of it. He's not joking. Mm-hmm. He does, he's not doing many jokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he assembles the team for a reason. Yeah. Um, at the end, he's like, I'll oh, bore your house. He's not as sweaty. I'll bore your house. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, um, this is Martian Manhunter. Yeah. All right. <laughs> is it? Yeah, it yeah. is. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's not fast. He sees an alien. He's like, whatever. Uh-huh. You know, because he already saw a bunch so of So not fast, that's ranked quite highly? I think so. For Batman, yeah. he's not fast, is he? Mm. He's very rarely surprised. Where is that bat? Like, you know where he lives? It's off a lake? Yeah. Where is that? Because Wayne Manor burnt down or is whatever. Is that in Gotham City still? Yeah, it's just outside. Of, maybe, yeah. is that lake? Because the lake goes into the Batcave, right? Yes. So presumably it's like a little thing he lives off the main property. Okay, right. I right. assume. Mm. It's going to make a big Justice League, remember? Oh, that's true. It's like, let's make a big Justice League forever. <laughs> Don't you reckon, guys? <laughs> Guys, what do you reckon? You reckon? Do you reckon we should? What do you reckon? I reckon we should. Um, the Flash reverses time. Yeah, but that's not that's not Batman. Related. I know, but it happens. Yeah, okay. and I like I love the bit at the end uh-huh. when they. Though I don't think Batman is involved in this. Well, then no, but they all team up. Okay, to decapitate Steppenwolf. That's all. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they all just look at each other through yeah. a portal. It's like, oh, this is bad news. Batman, you can't see it, but Batman, he gets his phone out and he does a selfie and. and... <laughs> <laughs> the victory fingers, and, and, he, and he, put, he puts it on. He puts it on Instagram. He's like, "Hey, we defeated Steppenwolf." Yeah, it's kind yeah. of wild. And all his friends are too polite to be like, "You didn't do anything." Don't you think it's weird that Steppenwolf didn't fire his own mega beams through the portal and kill every one of Steppenwolf? those? Steppenwolf. Oh, you mean Darkseid? I mean Darkseid or whatever? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway, but just like, it, you know what? This is probably isn't even worth bringing up. But there was oh, a no. rumor this week, <laughs> yes. last week. I don't know that they're going to give Zack Snyder a HBO Max Nightmare Universe. Justice League. I would love that. Show. Yeah, I would love that. Do you think that is – do you think they would, for one? I would also love it. Ye- yeah. Just set it in its own continuity. I mean, what's HBO Max? What are they – what are they pushing currently? They're, surely at a certain point they're going to be like, we don't have anything for like a couple of months. We, we need some yeah. – we need a show every week for a couple of months. Yeah. And we don't – Peacemakers – season two of Peacemakers not ready Has yet. Has anybody though. made a show? That we could put on our network. Oh, jeez, we forgot to make any sh- <laughs> boss. We forgot to make any shows. Oh, jeez, don't be mad. Don't be mad, boss. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what their relationship looks like, but I reckon they would have to have at least consider it, considering that 
nobody ever shuts the fuck up about this universe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not even for a single second, including us. I wonder if all the people who, like the big Snyder fans, are they already on board with HBO Max? I think, or did, oh, that's a great I, question. Here, here's my question, yeah. I guess, is did everybody sign up? For, was there a huge influx of subscribers to HBO Max when Zack Snyder's Justice League came out mm. and then it all went away? Like yeah, they yeah. all cancelled. Yeah. Because then you'd be like, oh, we, we can still get those guys again. But if, yeah. every, if everybody subscribed and just stayed subscribed, mm. there's no point. Yeah. Yeah. But I would watch it and also because. Would Affleck even do it? Doesn't matter. Get somebody else. Yeah. Get Army yes. Hammer. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> What, what, why do you reckon you couldn't get him? Bad, bad. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Who else is Also, he's, too, he's going to be too busy with the death on the Nile of us. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sequels to that. Yeah. I watched that movie, didn't I? Did you? No. Okay, cool. Um, um, but your parents liked it, didn't they? <laughs> yes. Well, actually, I saw them quite recently and they were like, when we saw that, we didn't like it. And I'm like, which is it, mum and dad? <laughs> Did they really? Because I think they watched, they, went, they, they watched it. Then they and watched then, a review? No, then they watched like... The old school Poirot oh, okay. stuff, and I think now they're like, "It was all right, but it's not as good as the not as good as that David Suchet fellow." Interesting, yeah, yeah. interesting choice of words. Mm. Anyway, mm. Uh, you don't have to get Affleck. Yep, you probably kind of do. You kind of do. Yeah. do, yeah, yeah. He also like he might do it, yeah, because he likes Snyder, you know, yeah. and he just be being a costume, it wouldn't be him. Most well, yeah, I mean, you <laughs> just you could do the you could do he films all these scenes in a day, yeah. and you meter him out, or you could be like, yeah, we've got the the for season one's about we've got to rescue Batman. Also, but they'd hate that because that's like he man. Yeah, but also like Batman gets his head torn off by yeah, Superman, but, so he true. wouldn't even need to be in it that much, unless it's a parallel universe to that parallel so they, universe. Psh, what? What? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Do you think so? Yes, because it doesn't matter. <laughs> You're right. Because it doesn't matter. The, why I would look forward to this as opposed to anything else Snyder would do yeah. is because it's not a. It's not a canonical yeah, universe. Totally. It's just whatever. And if he wants to kill Batman or kill any of them and introduce his own, it doesn't matter. Okay. Can Batman yeah. drink though? Yeah. And bed women? Yes. Cool. Okay. Is Aquaman dead? Yes. Unless it's a different continuity. Mm. Anyway, where does this sit? Does Great it question. Sit, I, I think it's better than Dawn of Justice. Yeah. Is it better than Batman 66? It's certainly longer by four times. It is longer by a <laughs> significant degree. Yeah, chuck it in there. Why not? Above 66? Is it? I mean, it's a better movie certainly than a, some other, some of the other stuff. A better yeah. saga is certainly. Is it better than Mask of But the is Phantom? it a better Batman movie? Mm. I don't think it is a better You're Batman movie right. than Mask of the Phantasm. Yep, all right. But, so it's above Batman 66 but below, below Mask of the Phantasm? I think it's below Batman 66. You think it's better? No, I think it's worse than Batman right, 66. Done. No, it's not worse, but, but I think there's more, better. I think yep. there's better Bat, there's more Batman because also in Batman sixty six he's he's doling out the moral lessons, which Certainly is very is. that's a classic Batman. He's thing like to just because they're drunk doesn't mean we should blow them up in a bomb. Yeah, yeah. Ben Affleck would be like, let's kill everyone. I let's, kill everyone. <laughs> let's kill everyone. Yeah, let's kill. I'll everyone. do it. I'll yeah, actually yeah. do it. Yeah, give, yeah. Me the, give me the gun. Because I mean, the thing about it being a, a Justice League movie is it's not all Batman all the time. No, and there's it's you know what a wild ride. What a wild ride we've done it, folks. Anyways, okay. this is that everything. Is, yep, and this is what I think of the new Batman movie. I'm breaking embargo. Here okay. we go, Mace. I can't. I'll go to jail. Do you, you want that? that? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I thought you'd say Do no. Do it, coward. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I, I'll say this. I can say this. Mm-hmm. Spoke to two people after. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the being oh, you're going to say mentioned. what they said. Yeah, I can say this. So you're going to say you're going to say. I'm not going to say specifically who said what, but one of them. But said, they broke the embargo. Yeah. So what you what you're basically saying is you're revealing that two people you know yeah. broke the embargo, and once they figure out who they are, <laughs> they're going to jail. Yeah, this is great. This is like a puzzle. These are two people that nobody knows. Just to clarify, do I know them? No, I, I've never even mentioned them before. Have you even life. met them? Yeah, no. You've never even met these but people. But I'll just say one of them really liked it and one of them, like, didn't. Whoa. So I don't know how that's going to play out. Okay, James, all right. Is this oh your two... Jail. Is this your, no, jail. James, is this your two friends and they're two guards and one of them always tells the <laughs> truth and one always lies? Did you ask them? Did you meet them? You yeah, know I've them. met them. I've met them. <laughs> they're yeah. awful, right? Yes. <laughs> Can't get a straight answer out of one or both of them. I don't know, but you don't ask them. Your, their opinion is that Batman. Also, they're always guarding the thing. They probably didn't even see it. What are they guarding? I don't know. A screening of the Batman, yes, no doubt. Yes, that's right. Anyways. Okay, but how about this next week? We'll bring yep. this back. Let's 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 read out this canonical list. Okay. This indisputable list of the best I, Batman it's movies. It's not possible to accurately put that in. And yet it's we've done it soon. somehow. No, we, I mean like the it. new one. Like, oh, I see. You can't put it okay, in. Okay, well, let's give it a wh- We'll watch it. I'll watch it. Yep. And then next week we'll, we'll attempt to put it in this. Yep. We'll slot it in here next week. I agree. All right, so okay. ha- where's this list? How's it going? Oh, you want to read it from yes. the top? Yes. Okay, oh, or bottom the bottom, up. From the bottom. 
Justice League 2017. Yucko. Batman the Killing Joke. Yucko. Also, we were like, we'll put it up because Mark Hamill and Kevin Conroy's in it. They also did Mask of the Phantasm. So it's true. Fuck those guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Then go to hell. <laughs> no, they're wonderful. Uh, Batman Forever. Batman and Robin. Mm-hmm. Batman Returns. Ooh. The Lego Batman movie. Oh. The Dark Knight Rises. Mm-hmm. Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. Whoa, That's... controversial. What a long title for right. a movie. Well, wasn't it going to be Son of Sun and Night, Night of Night? Of... <laughs> Bat- Awful. Bat of Man. Awful. <laughs> <laughs> Zack Snyder's Justice League, no, Batman v Superman, Zack Snyder's Justice League, Batman 66, Mask of the Phantasm, Batman 89, The Dark Knight, Batman Begins number one. Whoa. Probably I true. I never thought it would roll out like this, let me tell you. Yeah, what do you think would be number one? A different movie. Different movie, yeah. Not a Batman movie. No, different. just a different movie. Wow, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Kramer cool. versus Kramer. <laughs> Who did win the end of that? Kramer. Really? By yeah. a lot? Yeah, because Kramer was a whole lot, like, really big. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. Crushed Kramer under his boot. <laughs> That's really good. Yeah. Guys, okay, you know what it's time for? Is it time for? What yep. we reading? Yep. What we gonna read? It certainly is. And not a moment too soon. My goodness. Oh, I've done the wrong theme song. <laughs> what, what theme song I did you play, do? Yeah, I stopped it before I played. Here we go. I'm doing it for real. <laughs> Big relief. I'm doing the theme. What are we reading? Whoa. Now, Mason, as a person uh, who embraces the cinematic experience, is it true that you watched The King's Man on Disney Plus? I did watch The King's Man on Disney Plus. It's true. Could yeah. you sit further from your microphone, do you think? Yeah, almost certainly. <laughs> <laughs> now, someone will fix it in post. Don't worry about it. Yeah. yeah. Colleagues is all over it. Pretty solid as a movie. I was surprised. Yeah. Uh, it's much better than the second one. Yeah. By a million billion miles. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Um, not to... It is a weird kind of movie to watch currently. I agree. In the current circumstances yeah. in Ukraine and so on and so forth because yes. it's very much like a world war. It's a bunch of, it's a, such an action adventure kind of thing. It is, it is, it's yeah. more reverent I think than it could have been. Like when. Uh, Till the post credits. Yeah. Having watched, <laughs> having watched the first two, I'm like, or oh, is this Matthew Vaughn again? Yeah. I, I feel like, the, because the first two are quite irreverent and rude and I'm like, oh, this could be a bit. And it's a bit rude. It's a bit rude, but I'm like it's a bit oh, like Rasputin's gay. Don't you think that's gross? Yeah, yeah. There's a and and it's it's sort of like okay. I hope that I it, it'd be weird if they sort of were like oh this is too, too much of a lighthearted yeah adventure. But it's you know it, it, it takes most of the scenes quite seriously. Yeah, I would also say um, well, I guess without spoiling it, I guess too yeah. much. Um, Rafe finds is like the lead of this movie. Yes. Like they kind of took like what Colin Firth's character sort of was and just went, what if that was the guy? The guy, yeah. And I think that's wonderful. It's I very – uh, it fe- yeah, he fe- it, at no point was I like, this man could never do this. Yeah. He is so old. Yeah. He's certainly not John Steed in the Avengers UK anymore. Maybe he could anymore. have done it in the Avengers UK 97 mm. or whatever it yes, was. Yes, exactly yeah, right. With him with Thermon. And there's also – there's a – again, it, you know, it's – it's quite CGI dependent, I think. Yeah, but I but think it feels less feels less CGI dependent than it could be. There, there is a scene where he he parachutes out of a biplane, and that looks really good. I yeah. thought. Yeah, and then a goat helps him. A goat does help him. It's true. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Um, yeah, I think it's. I was I was surprised because I'd heard it wasn't great. Yeah, uh-huh. and I think it's just better than that. I think it's like much better than people have been giving it credit for, mm. and. Uh, might also be the last one because I don't think it made any money and whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, and it's still on in cinemas in Australia, and it's also on Disney Plus. That's so. So what do you do? What watch do you, it on Disney Plus. Yeah, you watch don't want to leave the house. Okay, we're going to spoil the post credits though. Okay, you had to you had to tell me about this. And you it's, were like, it's a mid credits. You, you're lying. I went all the way to the end. <laughs> You, you were like, this po- you will not believe what happens in this post credits. And I yeah. went to the end, and I'm like, you will, you, cause you, and you told me what it was. Yeah. And then I'm like, I went to the end, and I'm like, oh, you've tricked me here. Yeah. And why would I have fallen for the trick that you? Because it was the thing you said was so outlandish. <laughs> Then why would I think that was real? I'm so stupid for falling to this. And then I'm like, oh wait, is it mid credits? And you said yes. And so I went to the mid credits, and it was there. And I'm like, huh. Yeah. So basically. They are so the the League of Evil who's running all this the bad stuff. So Lennon. So Lennon and Lennon and whoever Daniel Brühl is I can't playing. Remember, is like uh, we've got a new game in town. We've got a young man I want to introduce you to. He's gonna really <laughs> he's gonna really help our League of Evil, our secret League of Evil that anyway. contains re- like cartoonish villains, but also real people from history, <laughs> including you, Vladimir Lennon. <laughs> and then, anyway, Hitler's here. Anyway, this man's name is. Adolf Hitler. And yeah. it's like, da, 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 da. Like he's fucking Nick Fury. It's yeah. wild. It is wild. <laughs> yeah. 
Also, they've gone with, I guess, pre World War Two Adolf Hitler. Yeah, because it's World War One. He doesn't have. Yeah, but he doesn't yeah. have the. He doesn't have like they haven't gone yeah, with the signature he was a, look of he Hitler. He was a soldier in World War One. They went. I. They went with long mustache and not Charlie Chaplin mustache. Yeah. God, Maybe that weird. was the look that he had. Mate, that, well, that's what I'm saying. It must be the look that he had. Yeah. 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 God, that's anyway. I also watched the movie The Deer Hunter. The Robert one's... De Niro. It's I've Robert never De Niro. Seen that. So uh, it's good. How many deers are they hunting? A couple of deers. Just two, and then they go home. Yeah. It's a boys, boys weekend. Deer boys hunting. weekend. Yeah. You, you bloody love it. Yeah. Uh, De Niro, Christopher Walken, uh, John Cazale, some other people. Oh, Meryl Streep's in it. Oh, really? Uh, and here's the thing. It is a very good movie. Yep. But it is three hours long and you've got to, you've got to, you've got to realize this is a saga. Yeah. It is. Uh, settle in. You've got to settle in, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Did, would you say it was good though? Yeah, it's a good movie. Did you yeah. watch Heaven's Gate, the movie he made after this? I didn't watch Heaven's Gate. No. Apparently it's a big no. Okay. <laughs> Why is that, I wonder? Why did I don't he take Because this, this won in the Academy Award, I think. I did. It won Best, um, best Time. Best time you can have. Oh, best boys weekend. Best boys weekend. <laughs> this was uh, that spun off into the MT movie, MTV Movie Awards. So the budget of the Heaven's Gate was forty four million dollars, and it made three point five. Ooh, fucking hell! Wow, all right. There you go. That's wow. some eighties money as Probably well. Probably why that guy still isn't making movies. Yeah, he's never made another movie. Also, he's dead now. He's I might assume. be dead. I, I don't know if he is actually. Wow. Anyway, uh, I, I've been. And it's a, it's a. It's speaking of war. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't. I think it was just a coincidence. But it's you know, it's it's the boys. Died in twenty sixteen. You're right. Yeah. Right. Uh, it's the the boys. They go, they go for a boys' weekend. Yeah. But then they have to go to Vietnam, and uh, big 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 uh, traumas happen, and then they come back. And are they right? They're not because of the the, the war. The war. Yeah. 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 Wow. Not even the power of the boys can bring them together again. <laughs> yeah, no. Just a boys' weekend can't really? can't fix everything, which is. Pretty incredible, if you ask me. That sounds like it's a movie that's missing a message. Then you know what I mean. You get to the end and it'd be like, actually, having boys <laughs> helped us immensely. <laughs> having, they, 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 having lads, lads, lads. They missed the opportunity to cut. Kind they of... did, didn't they? Yeah, that's really, really, really a shame. <laughs> that's interesting yeah. that it won any awards. Really, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Not these days. No, nah. didn't win any awards. I don't know. I no. think. Um, I just got to say, Comicsology is still fucked, and fuck you, whoever did that. Yeah, you absolute fucking garbage. Fucking person who did that. People out there, we don't. I don't think we have this in Australia. But if you're in America, mm. there is a service called Hoopla, which I think we've mentioned before. Which is okay. like you can if you, you can like a library. Thing. Yeah, you can connect it to your local library, and if they have any comic books, you can get digital versions of the comic books to your device, and you have to pay for them. So that's that's cool. That's very cool. Anyway, uh, if someone could recommend another comic book buying service, but I need something that like has everything and new as it yeah, comes yeah. out, and which, also has all the stuff you've already yeah, bought. which has Comicsology, and if you could transfer the thousands of dollars I've spent uh, over yeah. the years of all that stuff into my new account on a different um, mm. platform, that would be amazing. Wow, maybe I just good. print them all off, Mason. <laughs> I just print all my comics off just that I bought. Just print them off, exactly, yes. Yeah. Just just put your put your phone in the room with the printer <laughs> and just leave it for just a day. Let it run. A day, yeah. yeah. That'd do it. Um, you know what it's time for? Oh, what? Hang on. Do, have you been, oh. been reading anything else? Nah, Watching really. anything else? Nah. I'm trying to think of this. I saw one. The Batman. I don't know if I mentioned that. Oh, you mentioned it so many times. It's all you mentioned, actually. That's okay. That's okay. I don't mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, mind yeah. mentioning it. Uh, let me see. A lot of people consider it brave that I've seen The Batman. Who? Name one a person. lot of people. Name one I can't. Person. I'm embargoed. You you just asked that guy that lies, didn't you? <laughs> I hey, don't know I which re- one I asked. Hey, am I really brave? For the- yes, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I thought also. Anything else that you're reading? Not currently, but I'll think of something later probably. I can't wait for you to think of it. Anyway, now it's time for letters. Yes, it is. Yay. Yay. one was the letters, oh, letters. We love you. Some letters, they're only Right now, we're going to do letters. Hello, hello, hello to the letters segment. <laughs> this is the bit where I run Hello, out, James. This is where I've run out of energy, the segment. Oh, no. I used all my energy to shout about Batman. Mm. Now, uh, so basically, uh, if you do want to reach the show, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod on Twitter or mm. weeklyplanetpod at gmail.com, and maybe Mason will read your Gmail yes. on the podcast. Like this Gmail he's got right now. This is from Simon, hello, who Simon. says, I told a friend about your podcast, and now he's moving to Australia. Oh, no. James and Mason. To get us? Yeah, he's going to get us. Many years ago, I told a mate from work about your podcast. He recently announced his plans to move to Australia, and before he leaves, I feel we need your expertise to help settle an ongoing petty debate. This isn't a regional debate. It's just a petty debate. I'm happy to do it. He insists that Legion is one of the best TV shows that I have to watch. I insist that Master and Commander is a great film that he should really watch. 
We're both holding the other hostage saying, well, watch the other's recommendation when they've watched ours. This has lasted for two years. Mm-hmm. Clearly all opinions are valid, but please let us know definitively which is better and why Andy is wrong. Thanks for the entertainment from Simon. Well, they're both a, they've both got themes, they're don't they? They're apples and oranges, aren't they? Yeah, and one which of them... Which is what you should have to prevent scurvy in yes. the world of master and commander, the far side of the world. I agree. And not only that, uh, if yes. you don't mind me adding to it, Legion uh-huh. is two seasons long, whereas Master and Commander is one movie. Is it not more than two seasons? I think Legion it's more. is m- as many as it is. There's four seasons of Legion. I thought it might be three, if anything. Oh. Let me check, Mason. Well, you should check. But I... I haven't also finished Legion. No, no one has. Wow. But I liked it a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? Oh, baby, you're up. Right. 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 91% Rotten Tomatoes, Love and Life, everyone is in his... It's three. 27 episodes. So there you go. Whereas Master and Commander is... One season. One, season, one episode. One episode. It's like a British TV series. What's better, though? I, didn't, I haven't seen Master and Commander since it came out in cinemas. It's a good movie, though. Yeah. I'd it's probably. amazing they never did more of those. Yeah, it didn't make any money. Well, yeah, I was going to say, did it not hit it? It made it, some money. Actually. Yeah, right. If, yeah. if it hit at the right time, they would have done it because there's a bunch of books, right? Yes. Yeah. Maybe they'll bring it back. Mm. Seems like an expensive movie to make. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. Got to get a boat. But who would be the master and who would be the commander, you know what I mean? I can reckon I could do dual roles. I'll do them both. Oh, you think so? Yeah. You think you'd learn to play the violin? No. Okay. I'd just be like, this version of the character does not play any instruments. Your character would be like, now bring in the violin boy. <laughs> <laughs> and they'd bring in one of those, you know one of those dudes, they wear like an Edwardian frock coat and they play like an electric violin. <laughs> You know one of those guys? You know those guys? Yes, that's yeah, the, that's yeah. my movie. Yes. Yeah, great. Terrific. Uh anyway. Wee- you know. It was he does the Becker theme on the violin. Yeah, yeah. There's a there's like a I go past it sometimes. There's a there's a place near where I live where they, they sell like synthesizers and electric keyboards oh, yeah. or whatever. And on the front there's like a very much there's like a cartoon image of like a Tchaikovsky guy oh. and he's playing like a vast bank of electronic keyboards. And it's just like that's incredible. I agree. I love it. Master and Commander cost 150 million dollars and it only made 211. <laughs> oh, so that is why. Yeah. Something something the thing that I said. Okay. Yeah. Uh, which is better? I think Legion is better. Yeah, probably. Yeah. But I mean, Master and Commander is such a it's such a smaller time uh, yeah. commitment. You Absolutely. Know? I think whoever is meant to be watching Master and Commander should commit. Should just be like, I'm going to take the two hours. Just watch it while you're doing laundry or whatever. Exactly. You know? mm. Man, he made uh, he made a bunch of stuff, Peter. Wee, didn't he? Sure did. He made the Australian Truman stuff. Show. He made Australian. He made Gallipoli. Mm. Gallipoli. Mm. And he made The Way Back, which I haven't seen in 2010, apparently. The Way Back or The Way, Way Back? The way Back. Oh. You're thinking The Way, Way Back machine. I am. What, what did he do in Australia? Did he do Picnic and Hanging Rock? Oh, maybe he did. Yeah, I think he did. Okay, no, yeah. check that. I don't think I've ever seen that, or if I haven't, I'm not for a very long time. Uh, so, yeah, he did, Picnic and Hanging Rock. Oh. Yep, there you go. Mm. Okay, he did Witness. He did The Mosquito Coast with Harrison oh. Ford. He did Dead Poet Society. Oh. This guy's killing it, mate. Whoa. Until he stopped making movies. Anyway, uh, here's one from Matthew on Twitter who says, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod. I think you should do, the, for the next Caravan of Garbage, Power Rangers, the movie, and Turbo, a Power Rangers movie. I'm a Power Rangers fan, but I do not like these films at all. I much prefer the show. At the best uh, moment at, at the best moment, and the worst moment. Yeah, I would love to do the Power Rangers movies. In particular, also, I'd like to look, do the new one again and be like, this is weird. Why well, they made this one? Oh, yeah, that... I think Why does this movie open with a joke about a dude jerking off a bull or whatever? Why is that it? the first thing in this oh, movie? Oh no! Yeah. Anyway, have you seen any of those? I've seen the ninety. No, I've only one, seen. I've is. only seen the most recent one. Yeah, very good. Mm. Yeah, they're not great in general, from what I've seen and heard. Mm. But yes, parents. Whenever they reboot it, we'll do it probably. Ah, uh, this is an email from Jera. Mm. It says he says remake classic movies in animation. I will not. Dear Sunday, what are you remake him? Maybe I will. A uh, long time listener here, uh, started listening in middle school and now I'm almost graduating college <laughs> studying animation while well, somebody's got a bloody agenda here, don't they? I agree. Uh, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for being there. And while You're I'm welcome. here, got a question for you. People talk a lot about live action remakes, but what about animated remakes? Mm. Which franchise would you like to see get an animated remake or just reboot with a new take, i.e. Spider-Verse? I think Planet of the Apes could make for a cool stop motion war film. Ooh, that's cool. Because yeah. then you're doing like the old King Kong kind of like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's interesting, I guess. I just because of the monkey thing. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Live animated remake. Yeah. God. Great question, isn't it? You should have Great asked. question for a hungover man. Why did they ask? Yeah, I'm hungover, obviously. <laughs> do they not know that? Is there not mention of that? P.S. Are you okay? 
Hope you no, keep your fluids he up. It doesn't seem to be concerned at all, actually, mm. over your, your hungoverness. I don't know. You answer this question, Mason. Great question, James. Thank you for <laughs> giving it to me. I appreciate it. Uh, I think they could do I reckon they could do a. They should do a Kingsman. I would love to see a Kingsman animated series. Okay, yeah. But, like, do it in old-timey yeah, animation okay. style. Ooh, like, give thinking, me a specific what like time. Like Cuphead. Oh, like Cuphead. That's got an animation at the moment. It does have it? an animation. I should watch that. On Netflix. Because... It, I like the animation style of Cuphead, but I haven't played it because I've heard it's difficult and yeah. I don't want to play anything that is difficult. That's the, Yeah, that's why I'm like, should I get Elden Ring? Mm, seems difficult, <laughs> but I might get it anyway. I'd have to learn a new style of fighting. As you know, thing. I started Sifu and like it's very like mm. very competently made. I heard in you're on a Sifu diet. Moment. Yes, I Sifu the game, yes, and I eat it. <laughs> <laughs> that's weird. Is it? Yeah. You brought it up. Um, <laughs> but, I, but I don't. Commit to that kind of stuff. But sure, like, I, yeah. I got to the second level and I got a little bit better and I got to the mm-hmm. boss and then I just went, you know what? Yeah. I'm just not going to get better at this and I'm okay yeah. with it, you know? I think. I think and it's t- very well made. Yeah. Yeah. I think, in terms of taking something live action and putting it into animation, I think you need a very distinctive looking movie yeah. and or a very distinctive or a reason to like. A reason to live. Because, yeah, well, you do, absolutely. And maybe it's uh, the animated Kingsman series. Yep. But, um,. Because otherwise it'll just like I don't want to I don't want to watch a John Wick or do I? They are doing a John Wick something. Yeah, I think the, yeah yeah like if if they get John Wick and they make it animated, what are we getting out of that? What what is what what will animation? Give yes, us that, I see what you're saying. That, yeah. that won't the live action can't yeah. give us or like doesn't have the budget for or yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. I would like. To, have we talked Blade Runner? Well, yeah, that does have some animated stuff, and yeah. that would be that. Actually, that one came to mind, but. Like if you made that like an anime, because so much of that is inspired yeah, yeah. by. Because they did, um, or has inspired anime. Yeah, yeah, well. they did that. That they did altered carbon. They did a. An oh, they anime. did too. Did you watch that? Yeah, I did. It's it all right. It's pretty all right. I didn't. But that's I a very distinctive look. Yes. And if, and and you want it, you can bring it into animation as opposed to like if they if they did, you know, taken the animated series and every week somebody another of his daughters is taken. <laughs> I mean, they're just going to transfer it into they, like um, fairly generic. They did make that a series. That was there was a Taken. Oh no, TV prequel. Well, I then say. I apologize unreservedly. Yeah, it wasn't animated, so you don't need to apologize. Okay, then I God. shan't apologize. I mean, I was going to say Ninja Turtles, but they are doing that, and they did that in two thousand seven. Yeah, I recently we watched that, and I think the problem with that movie is that it's about monsters or something. the TMNT version. Yeah, it's actually where Shredder's dead, and yeah, it's pretty solid. Yeah. Like, to be honest, did but, you? Um, do we, we we didn't talk about the um. The Seth Rogen new version of TMNT. No, but there was some imagery. Yeah, they look all real goofy, yeah. like actual teens. They're which teenagers. I think is fun. They're not tanks anymore, which no. I think I appreciate. They were very big in those movies. Yes. Yeah. I, I like the way that – I love the way they've, like, redesigned the Ninja Turtles over the years, and there's so many different incarnations. Well, I hate it. Wow. I think wish- they should pick a style and burn the rest. <laughs> That's what I think. Anyway, animations, huh? Yeah, let us know. Mm. Uh, I reckon. I reckon, though – you know how sometimes they'll do, like in a Marvel comic, they'll go, okay, uh, we're doing a flashback here yeah. to like what what was happening in the 70s and in this universe. And, and they do, and they do it like in the style of the yeah. comic books in the 60s or 70s or whatever. Give us that. Like give us, give us, a, mo- like, oh, uh, give us a movie set in the 70s yeah. and give us 70s animation style. Sure, okay. Give us like a Hanna-Barbera, yep. you know, terrible Ooh, animation, <laughs> but better, but good. Yeah, better, but good, but yeah, it looks yeah. like Hanna-Barbera. But but give us better. something like that, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Mm-hmm. What about this one then? Go on. It's from Jess who says, on a train ride to London, good excuse to finally start to catch up on hashtag Weekly Planet Pod. Whoa. The last, the last next episode I need to listen to is episode 340 from June 2020. What? How did I get so far behind? <laughs> uh, just a bunch of time like stopped like for a couple of years. That's sure how. did, yeah, yeah. Remember, remember uh, when everything just stopped for two years? I remember that. Yeah, and nothing happened for two years. But yeah. then we all came out and went, oh, fuck, we're all older. <laughs> like two years for some reason. Yeah, right. How is that fair? How am I better looking somehow? You how said that You said to me, you said about me. That's what you said. You <laughs> thought I was better looking and I went, thank you. That's what I said. Wow. God, I've still got it. Uh, yeah. Even hungover, he can build a web of logic like the best of them. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for coming back and listening. Yes. Uh, what else, Mason? That's the whole show, I think. No, I've got one more. Oh, from, you got one more. From Jock, who says, uh, look, we don't normally do these, but I thought this was an interesting one. And okay. maybe we'll do a versus coming up soon. All right. Uh, it's from Jock Doe, who says, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod, Willy Wonka versus Mary Poppins, standard showdown rules from back in the day, who wins? So that's standard American football field. They both appear at opposite ends of the football <laughs> field. They are aware that the other person is a threat and they have to kill them. Or, sorry, if they're non-lethal, they're non-lethal. If they kill, they mm. kill. 
Um, Mary Poppins is a magic demon and would murder Yeah, she's Willy got Wonka. the it powers. Yeah. <laughs> she's got Pennywise powers. She could trap him something. in a cartoon or whatever. Yeah, like, yeah, she yeah, could do yeah, anything yeah. to him. But she's not a murderer, probably. No. But Wonka is definitely a murderer. 100%. He's got a He'll knife in that cane. He'll kill a lot of children. He's got a knife in that cane. We've yeah. talked about it. But she's got she's pulling things out of that bag. What else did you got in there? A gun, maybe. I think if he's out, if he's outside of the chocolate factory, his yeah. options are limited because he's only got that knife. He's only got the knife, yeah, <laughs> and yeah. a forward roll. Yeah, it's yeah. also, and I think Mary Poppins has been stabbed by like unruly children a lot of times, and Definitely. it doesn't affect her at all yep. anymore. So, and she doesn't age. Yeah, she's immortal. Mm. Yeah, do you think that would affect? He's like, her oh, in the I'm fight? doing a forward roll, and she's like, you're in a painting. And he's like, ah, oh. <laughs> forward roll all you like. <laughs> You're in a weird watercolor world. You have to dance with penguins for, yeah, the, rest of, right. for the rest yeah. of eternity. Yeah, no, it's Mary Poppins. I yeah, think, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I love that new Mary Poppins movie. Oh, I haven't it's, seen it. I think it's terrific. Anyways, that's the show. It's the whole show. Thank Somehow, you, I just think I should get a lot of kudos because I did this show. I think you know maybe people should sign up a big sandwich to thank me. Oh yeah, with money. Thank me with money is what I'm <laughs> essentially saying. Oh no, thank people for thank you for listening, everybody. That's exactly yeah. right. Thanks uh, for listening, folks. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for telling your friends about the podcast because that's how we get new listeners most of the time. I agree because people really insist, and then they listen and they're like, "You normally have bad ideas, friend, but this time." This was a good idea. This was a good idea. And in future, I'll listen to more of your ideas, even though I know in my heart they're bad. Yeah, this is but you the were one, right this yeah, time. The one good thing you've yeah, yeah. done has given me enough faith for the future. Yeah, that's right, exactly, yeah. which you'll dash against the Rock's master and commander <laughs> style. And also thank you for leaving a five-star review on whatever platform because we find them and that's how other people find them as well. Cause that's right. Puts us up in the ranking somehow. That's right. James Gavney? Yeah, Clay wrote this. He said, fantastic movie review podcast. This podcast has such uh, been such a pleasure to listen to. It's by far one of my favorite movie review podcasts. Uh, the guys always give me a ton of laughs Yes, and are amazing to listen to during long drives. Thank you so much. And here's one here from KB Northrup who says, pour me another glass of wine, white wine, Jurassic Snark. <laughs> uh, so the premise of this show, two guys with weird accents uh, that they don't think are weird uh, accents, both named Nick, I think, give opinions on movies, comics, and TV shows. I started listening about three years ago and turned my then boyfriend, now husband, onto it. He thinks he's a bigger nerd than me, but, like, I found this podcast first, so I, I think I win, and it's probably true. Both of the Nicks are funny, informative, and even when they talk about video games, which I really don't care about, I don't turn the podcast off because I enjoy them so much. I did consider only giving this podcast four stars because my favorite character, Jurassic Snark, does not come off up for the, up off it enough. I very much want to know what uh, – it's hard to read when I'm uh, hungover, but this is very kind. Sure, you're doing very well, I think. Thank you. I very yeah. much want to – I can't even – I don't even know what I'm saying. I very much want to know <laughs> what that mean dinosaur has to say about my nice review, Mr. S- Mr. Sunday content, a pig rolling down a hill for life. If you want, if you want to get all the in jokes, you have to listen. Thank you so much. That's right. Jurassic Snark is, of course, your famous character. It's a very sassy dinosaur. <laughs> yeah. Or, or critic of the movies, which just mean, <laughs> just a mean dinosaur. I think. <laughs> oh, he, I mean, he'll be back for Jurassic World Dominion. I am no doubt. Imagine, so, and we're probably going to be doing the Jurassic movies for Caravan of Garbage. Oh, so. big Jurassic. Maybe you're saving it all up. Aren't I'm you? saving it all, all up. All this yeah. vitriol. That's right. Yeah. Here we go. I, I wouldn't waste it on such a on a review <laughs> such as that. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, you never know when he's going to scratch you. That's right. He's a big bitch. <laughs> anyway, uh, folks, thank you uh, for leaving those nice reviews. Uh, you can do them in your, in your apps usually. Uh, if you want to get into contact with us, you can go to weeklyplanetpod at gmail. I'm extraordinarily hungover, Mason. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> I can, you, you're really falling to bits. Just remain quiet for another 45 seconds. I don't seconds. need to do anything, do you I? don't have to do anything. <laughs> okay, good. Just shh, shh. Uh, folks, you can go to our Weekly Planet Pod at Gmail, at Facebook, at Twitter, at Bandcamp. Uh, you can follow The Weekly Planet and at I'm struggling to Raw Collings on Twitter. That's our friend Raw Collings. He edits the podcast. He edits videos. He does all kinds of crazy stuff. He keeps the wheels turning on uh, Twitter. I'm Wikipedia Brown, and on Instagram, I'm Nick May, so N-I-C-K-M-A-S-E-A-U. James is Mr. Sunday Movies everywhere. Yeah. If you want to support the show... You can go to patreon.com slash Mr. Sunday Movies. You can chuck in a buck or any amount you wouldn't miss in any given month. Just a little teeny tiny little bit of change. We don't mind. Right. Uh, or, or if you're a big spender, you can go to bigsandwich.co uh, for nine US dollars per month. You can mm. get all sorts of bonus uh, podcasts and extra content and early videos and all kinds of stuff. That's right. We're having a great time over there. We did uh, uh, the book club. We had a great time over at book club. It's a good time to have a book club. Just quite recently. 
Uh, thank you to the Brute and the Basilisk and Rackham for all our musical themes. You can buy T-shirts at tpublic.com. Just search for the Weekly Planet and get a, a, a real one or a bootleg one. Uh, they're all bootleg at this point, I think, actually. Yeah, but, probably. Yeah, yeah. Get a get a Weekly Planet poster as well. Yeah, one. they're fun. I like yeah, those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Turns out uh, Chris, who who runs Weekly Planet posters, he um he made our fake NFTs. I saw that, yeah. Uh, if, you, if you follow him on Instagram... Uh, he he made our fake NFT ape men. Uh, he, he just got all existing ones and he stitched them yeah, together, exactly. Franken, Frankenstein style. Which is probably how they make them in general, I think. Yeah, yeah, or it's or it's a generator. I would. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the whole show. That's the whole show. Next week, the Batman. Good, the Batman. I can't wait to watch it again because I've already seen it. Are you going to watch it again? <laughs> I might actually if I get wow. time. I mean, it's three hours long, so I might not be able to. Yeah, but yeah. I I kind of I do, but you know, I always say that, and then I often don't. Yeah, you know. And Snake Eyes. <laughs> oh yeah, shit. Yeah. Um, where would Snake Eyes rank in the Batman movies, you reckon? Well, Batman is definitively not in them. Okay. So. So above Batman v Superman. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, good. All right. All right, thanks for listening, everybody. Uh, grab that gem, you guys. We will see you next week for the Batman. Goodbye, the Batman. Batman. Batman is Batman. Batman. This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. I mean. If you want, it's up to you.